Can you guys hear me? Oh my fucking god. Can you guys hear me? Say yes or no. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Biggest event of 2021. You are here for it. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm laughing so hard. Hey guys. Hey Madison, the Q family. Raquel, Kelly, Natalie. Oh my god. You guys, this is my first time going live ever. Ah, Mark, I knew you'd be there. <laughs> Thank you. Congrats on your marriage. Thank you, Cassandra. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this is my... I know I'm a gamer now. Wedding vlog, I know. I know, I know, I know. I gotta do it. <laughs> Gamer girl, happy belated birthday. My god, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is my first live stream ever. I've never gone live, like, not even on, um, like, Instagram live. I've always been nervous. Because I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna say something that I did not mean to say. <laughs> I should start streaming on Twitch. I know. I actually want to stream on Twitch because I it's like hard to figure out what this is. You know what I mean? Like I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> um Taylor the Cat Thief BB coach is having a meltdown after getting dumped. <laughs> you guys, yeah, there's some there's some beach body drama going on. Um and I am, by the way, aware, Haley. That there's some beach body drama happening. <laughs> um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say something. Uh, yeah, sorry. I want. I do want to stream on Twitch, but I'm like, I don't know. I gotta. I gotta like send you guys a link because I think Twitch is easier to navigate than YouTube is. If anybody else agrees with that, I'm sure a lot of people do. Let's see you play against Jarvis. Oh, you do not want to see that for Jarvis's benefit. <laughs> um, so I don't know. I got to figure out how to, I do know how to stream on Twitch, but I got to send you guys like my username or whatever. I want to invite you and Jarvis to my wedding. Where do I send the invite? Oh, Helen, I, um, I definitely want to go, but I, um, I'm not sure if it'll be politically correct. Um, Jarvis just said, let's do Torghast. That's a, that's a, what's it called? Let me do, uh, let me do a full screen moment. So you guys can see. Um, what were we saying? So I was going to ask somebody. Beach body drama. Um, yeah, so if you guys weren't aware, there's a, there's like a beach body Reddit. Um, <laughs> and on the Reddit, it's, it's like, what is it called? It's called like beach, it's called Beachbody Hun Snark. And I never mentioned it because I don't really know if people, if they want me mentioning it, but there's like a lot of, they basically, people just basically discuss like just Beachbody coaches. It's pretty funny. So there's. You know the girl that's constantly in my videos? Um, she She's the one that, like, she... There's, like, something with her dead dog. Anybody remember that one? She, like, her boyfriend's dog died, and then she just tried to monetize it. Um, that girl, she I, guess, she... I guess her and her boyfriend broke up, and now she's, like, moving to Mexico. So that's the drama with that. If anyone cares, if anyone cares, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about. There's kind of of a delay on my stream. I don't know how to figure that out. I'm so lost. Uh, let me see. So like the, what's really scares me about live stream is like, I don't really know how to, like if there's a problem, I don't know how to solve it. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> so 
<laughs> I'm stranded out here. Um, yes, Haley, just, it's the Beach Body Hunt Snark Reddit. Couple goals, wish my man would play WoW. Or, I haven't played League of Legends. I would, I have to get into that, because that's like the biggest game out there. Without a crystal ball, Reddit is crazy. Oh, I sometimes get, um, videos recommended to me about that girl. She actually emailed me. Isn't she getting sued? Um, why did he leave her? Good question. I think I can think of a couple reasons. She set up a few mods. Uh, yeah, I do need to set up a mod. Who wants to be a mod? <laughs> Anybody? Um... Somebody said, are you releasing some wedding content? I The only thing that I still have to release, like, wedding wa related, like, I didn't film that much because it was really um, not, like, a big event. But the only thing I have left is, um, what's it called? My wedding makeup and, like, just a little bit. Of, I don't know if I'm going to post the ceremony because it's just, it's just, like, not that interesting and like my I was it was emotional though like I was crying um my dad was crying um some people are asking me why I did without a crystal ball message me uh or email me because I think she's getting she's getting sued by Tati Westbrook and she thought because I had a problem with Tati Westbrook before that I would so for, I don't know what she was thinking man you know what I mean I don't, I'm like, I didn't even respond. I don't respond to any email, though. What I got for my birthday video this week? I need to film that. I I got a lot of Kiki Discord for your Twitch chat would slap. Oh, for sure. Uh, I am getting, I'm like, so, I'm like reading every message and then I want to respond to every message and then I get like confused. <laughs> um, and I, I'm like getting like so sidetracked, but God, what was I going to say? Oh, what I got for my birthday video. Yeah, I ordered a bunch of stuff for my birthday. I need to do that immediately. Yeah, she was trying to drag me into her lawsuit. <laughs> Ain't nobody dragging me into a lawsuit. She's a train wreck. Oh, man. That's probably what people say about me, too, though. Love seeing my phone holder with me where I lie in bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's, uh, it doesn't look the best, but it's, it's a must. It's changed my life. Like, when I go to bed, I just lie there, and I watch, um, you know who I watch? I watch these, like, hold on, I'm gonna, like, exit out of my game, because I watch these, uh, like, restoration, art restoration videos, and they put me right to sleep. <laughs> Why is Jarvis laughing in the other room? I can hear him. <laughs> How, oh, I put my chat on slow mode. Is that what I did? Oh my god. I'm gonna oh, one day I'll figure this out. <laughs> uh, who's a train wreck? Me, unfortunately. Happy belated birthday. Mine was the ninth. Happy belated birthday to you. Hi, Dia. Hey, Corey. Janae. Got home from Walmart buying curtain rods. Oh, that's. Epic. <laughs> how do you think you guys, how long do you guys think you'll live in the city? Oh my god. Um, honestly, that's a big topic that I've been wanting to discuss. Like, I don't know what to do, you guys. I really do not know what to do. I, I'm really, like, I go back and forth all the time. Like, do I want to live here anymore? But Chicago's kind of gone to shit, to be honest with you. It's kind of sad. Like, every store is going out of business. Like, the Express, the big one, went out of business. The Macy's. Um, Water Tower is just, like... It's it's sad to be out there, honestly. Um, do you like the Impossible Whopper at Burger King? Oh, my God. Yes. That's, like, my preferred fast food item. I was taking a nap and woke up to watch you. <laughs> How did you know if you were taking a nap <laughs> that I was on here? <laughs> you know what? Never mind. 
When does Jarvis graduate? He graduates um, in like two weeks. I'm in shy too. It does suck. Yeah, it does. It's it's like, I mean, I like it in the summer. Like in the summer, it is so fun to live here. But and winter is too. Like I like Christmas here, but you know, I don't know. Sometimes I'm like, man, I want those wide open spaces. <laughs> I need the wide open spaces like the Dixie Chicks. Living downtown during the pandemic sucks. It's it's really bad. It's really bad. It's like, you know what's kind of frustrating what is like groceries. Like the whole concept of groceries is so frustrating because I'll go on like for example, I'll go on to like Amazon Fresh and some just somebody's just decided to buy like at all of the creamer that I use. I use the Natural Bliss Almond Milk Creamer Vanilla. And it's like every week there's at least one thing that I that I use or like what's it called? Every week there's like one thing that I eat that's gone. I'm like, oh. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's just groceries like they stress me out so bad. It's so hard to just do the things that you don't even think about. But that's just city life. Tax free shopping in Delaware. I'm there. <laughs> Can I move in with you? Um, Jersey City. Yeah. I do love New York, though. Like, I, I love New York, and I always wanted to move there. But I don't know if I'm just, like, if it was the pandemic or whatever. But I'm just kind of, like, I just want more space. Like, I at least want a two-bedroom. Especially when you need cat litter. Oh, that's my problem right now. Groceries are a nightmare when you need cat litter because it's so he everything's so heavy. You gotta go. Ugh. How did you? How did Jarvis get his name? I only have heard that one other time, and it was on Twitter last night. I liked his name. Um. Yeah, his Jarvis is name. Jarvis is one of those where he's named after his dad. Who is named after his dad? Who is named after his dad? Who is named after his dad? <laughs> Do you like Iowa? I live in Des Moines, Iowa. Going to college here. Um. Iowa is, Iowa, I, I like it, but I just, because I went to college in Iowa. I went to University of Iowa for, like, two years, and I was on the soccer team, for those who don't know. But in the NYPD, do not move to NYC, okay? <laughs> I, bet, I guess that'd be a good person to ask. But I liked Iowa, but, like, it was just college, you guys. Me in college was not somebody you wanted to know. I didn't even want to know myself then. <laughs> It was, it was not right. I was just like, I don't know. That was the most out of control my life's ever been was like sophomore year of college, like freshman year of college. Oh my God. Is he Jarvis the fifth? He's Jarvis the fourth. <laughs> we need a Shein home haul. I never even heard of Shein home. That's crazy. Shein is blowing up. I, I remember just like three years ago, Shein was like, if you shopped at Shein, you were taking the ultimate life risk. How is, uh, do you ever think you'll get Boo a companion? I want to get another cat, but we're going to have to move to a bigger place and hopefully a place where I can put like the cat boxes. You know what I mean? Oh my God. I love you, Kiki. Thank you. I love you too. You can't call them Dixie chicks. And oh, that's right. Sorry. The chicks. I, I, I am thankful for you guys because you keep me politically correct. I, I didn't realize I'm probably, that's, the, that's my thing I'm going to get canceled for is calling the Dixie chicks, the, the Dixie chicks. <laughs> what a way to go out that's fine um we need a college story time no you don't you really really don't yeah it was like a potential scam site yeah Shein was and like um Zaffle was and now everybody's like shopping on Zaffle I guess I don't know I guess it's fine now but it was like a, it was a major scam um before will you stream Animal Crossing yeah I actually you know what I want to do is um i think the re okay i gotta stop like i gotta just answer my question and then say what i want to say okay um well will you stream animal crossing yes and i want my first animal crossing stream to be uh a tour of my abandoned town i abandoned my town it was a five-star town with my my uh i had like a really rare villager that the, he's like top 10 his name's Bo. it's like the deer or whatever he's like really cute and he I found him on a deserted island and then I just abandoned I just jump ship I'm like I don't know I don't want to play anymore <laughs> that was last summer so 
I probably have so oh, hella weeds and stuff now. I gotta do like major gardening, but that would be my first Animal Crossing stream. I'm already planning on it. Missed two days of Animal Crossing since the game came out. I will never get tired of it. Man, I wish I had that resolve. I don't know what I, I don't know why I got tired. I, I just was like I don't even know. I found you with the why I quit Sephora video. Oh my god, that's like the original video. What happened about my butt cancer? <laughs> Okay, I did not have butt cancer, but I did have a butt tumor, which is probably the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to me. So thank you for following up on that one. That's really great. <laughs> Jesus. Um, it's good, but I did have a butt tumor. So tell your friends. I'll send you the wedding deets via DM. Um, send them to my email. I don't really check my DMs on Instagram. Uh <laughs> I really want to switch now to play Animal Crossing. Yeah, you should. It's like Animal Crossing is like, it's just such a great game. It's just cathartic. Um, if you have a boy, is Jar Jarvis adamant about naming him Jarvis? Um, that's an interesting question because <laughs> we said they forgot about the ass tumor. Well, I just reminded you. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I'm going to be having kids. I probably won't have kids. Please do more of these streams. You comfort me. I'm going to need to watch while breastfeeding my newborn. Oh, I would love a stream where you react to, react to MLM content. Oh, my God. Yeah. I thought about doing those. I don't know. It might get dicey. <laughs> he's laughing so... <laughs> he's, yeah. I think he's laughing at the butt comment. Um, I don't... <laughs> Yeah, it's uh, it's cringe. Wait, what was I what was I answering? I, I was answering a different question. Oh, reacting to MLM content. Yeah, I don't know about that one. It would be hard to kind of like I would have to like queue up a bunch of stuff because it would have to be like me queuing up. I don't know content like that's already pre blurred out and stuff. But I could yeah I guess I could do it. It would just be a little bit of work. Gotta stand, Jarvis, why don't you type something in the chat so people can see you. Stan, your man watching your stream. Well, I do, I need a mod and he's, he's on mod duty right now. <laughs> Am I, oh, by the way, my internet has been like playing games on me. So it's, uh, I might, uh, get kicked out of here pretty soon, but how's married life treating you? So far, married life's good. I was going to say this in my video because I still have to put out a video. I'm just being, like, kind of lazy, but it's been crazy around here. But um, honestly, I really I enjoy married life because, you know, it's kind of weird because a lot of people say, like, uh, that they don't feel any different or they do feel different or whatever. And honestly, with me, I uh, I definitely feel different. Like... I just, I, like, for me, hold on, I gotta move this back, because I don't know why I did that. Um, I, I'm losing my train of thought, like, so bad. <laughs> um, what was I saying? See, this is how I am in real life. Like, this is why videos are good, because I can edit myself, like, all the brain farts out. Um, here's what I, here's why I feel like it's different, because... I feel like we're just not that we weren't a team before, but like combining your finances and things and really like you're really in, you're really a team now. Are you changing your last name to Jarvis's? Yeah, I am. You know, what's crazy um, is I uh, it's like such a it's so it's such a hassle to change your name. We need to get you an ethernet cable. Yeah, I agree, Jarvis. But yeah, it's so hard to change your name. So I actually, there's like services you can pay for to change your name. So like I paid a hundred bucks or something to have somebody like this service send me all of the forms and like documents and like prepaid postage and stuff to try to get my name changed. But I felt different after my boyfriend and I got married, although we were already living together. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that it, it does feel different. And we've been living together for like four years now. And it does feel a lot different. 
Bumping somebody else's question, asking if you're changing your last name. Yes. Um, do you watch Simply Pod Logical? Starting binging all the videos. Never been into Christine's humor, but I adore your intelligence and two cents with Ben. I think I have watched a couple of episodes, and I I I think it's cool. You know what's cool about um, if you guys don't know Simply Nail Logical, but she has like a regular job. Like she's got like what is it, ten million subscribers, and she, but she like works a normal job still and she keeps her that's like crazy to me um i don't know a lot of other youtubers like that and it's just crazy too because she's got so many subscribers happy birthday pink coffee drink is somebody's birthday today if so happy birthday <laughs> um what's the service it's called hitch switch i believe i don't know if it's good but have i seen this is us no i haven't I don't really watch a lot of TV shows, but my boyfriend is going to take my last name. More power to you. I should have made Jarvis do that. Changing name is officially is a pain. I still have stuff in my pre-married name like this YouTube account. Um, no, his his last name is Alexander. So my that's my new last name is Alexander. I feel like that sounds so um, like I'm a, I don't know. Sounds like regal. <laughs> Senpei noticed me. Ha yeah, happy birthday. Pink coffee drink. Um, Kylie live. You love to see it. Where is the boo? I think he's sleeping underneath my... Uh, <laughs> I think he's sleeping under the bed right now. He'll probably wander out here pretty soon. So royal, I you know, right? <laughs> What a royal name. But changing your name is a royal pain in the ass. Jarvis Chanel, I know, right? Opened up YouTube to Mrs. Alexander. You're right. I've been married nearly five years, and I'm sure there's some things my name... Yes, it's so frustrating. It's like, you guys, this is the thing about life that... <sighs> I don't even know what to say. Like, just all that stuff, like changing your name, health insurance, like... It's like what who it's like who made this? These are man made ideas. Who made the whose idea what what man came up with this? So cute. I love your pink vibes, thanks. Looking so good, the color, thanks. I just had to dye it. Had to fix my roots. Where's my comforter from? Urban Outfitters. And um it's pretty cute. It was a risk buying this comforter, I will not lie. Or a duvet cover. Watching this while I'm unpacking all my Amazon packages feels very fitting. Oh my god, I'm I wish I was you, cause I really wish I had some Amazon packages to open. <laughs> Did you guys have a wedding registry? No, we didn't. You know why? Because I have way too much stuff, and I'm sure you guys are all aware already. <laughs> uh, it's just so crazy. What are the essentials I need for my first apartment? Oh my god. That'd be a good video to do, like a first apartment essentials video. When we moved to our first apartment, I had nothing. Um, I had nothing at all. So, you know, what's like, you know what the most fun thing is, though? Moving to a new apartment, like you move to a new place or whatever. And like that first Target trip when you go get new stuff yeah that's like it's so fun like just to go and get like all new stuff for your place and like oh my god i love it i love your headphones thanks these are our, um the razor headphones from it's like a razor quartz collection yes i love you kylie but you have way too much stuff i get secondhand stress can you imagine how much stress i have i i want to i like i can't do this anymore i need to move to a new place <laughs> Like, I, I need another, I just need another room to just put my, my garbage in. Make more party planning videos? I want to. Honestly, I want to. I, I like, love that party planning stuff. I'm doing, um, um, a grad party for Jarvis, so maybe I'll do that. Get my second shot on Wednesday. Can't wait to go shopping again. Oh, Yeah. Where's the first place you're going to go? Need to know. Have you curbed your shopping addiction now since your money is combined? No. It's actually gotten worse. 
Because we got a lot of, uh, we got a lot of wedding money. <laughs> you should start a Poshmark. I have a Poshmark and I used to sell stuff, but it is honestly like a full-time job to run a Poshmark account. So I was thinking about hiring my dad because he has nothing to do. <laughs> Where do you store everything in your apartment? Uh, I just like, I, I hide it. Like I, I push things out of the way. Like behind me, there's... This, this is all storage stuff that needs to go to my parents' house. I just dump it on my, I dump it on jar, my parents or my in-laws, and they hate me for it, both of them. I'm moving next month, and I feel the need to redecorate my whole room every time, as you should. <laughs> you inspired me to do a theme uh, party for my mom, and I'm doing a tea party. Oh, my God, I love it. That's so fun. Tell me about the kitty litter bags. I make the store carry it to my car truck and sort of roll it out there. Awful. Whoa. <laughs> Thanks for shopping with us, Kiki's dad. <laughs> yeah, I should have my dad sign all of them. He'd love that. Um, bought the Aldi meatless meatballs today. They are better. They better be good. Oh, dude, that's what I miss about the suburbs. Aldi meatless meatballs. Those go hard. And for what? Like, who allowed Aldi meatballs, meatless meatballs, to go that hard? We never see anything in your vlogs. It's, you know that, like, little room? It's like a little closet. That's what I, I put, I, like, shove everything in there. What did he say? On my, yeah, Jarvis said it's on my side of the room. <laughs> it is. Do you have another job in addition to YouTube? No, but, um, I need to get one. For sure. Um, a lady I don't know asked me to join her MLM Modere. Hadn't heard anything. One, but it was so weird. All of her posts, she taped off the name Modere. Yeah, that's what MLM people will do. It's like actually crazy. They like t they. Sh I have like a. I wish I could show you. It's on my phone, but there's this girl like this. Monate is probably the worst with that because they have probably like the worst press if you look them up, but. They would like, they would show like a sh shampoo bottle or something like for Monet and then they would go like this, love my shampoo, but the name would be right here. So they'd be like, love my shampoo. And it's like, that's sketchy. And it was everything. Like every, she had posted like four times to her Instagram story, four different products. Every time the name was cropped out. Um, have you heard of the MLM Tropic? I'm stuck in somebody's group and I can't leave. <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard of that, actually. Since I moved to the suburbs, I've been invited to so many MLM parties. You know what? That's a good point. MLMs, I mean, suburbs are a breeding ground for that. You don't really see that in the city a lot. That's actually interesting, yeah. Like, not a lot of people in the, in the, uh, what's it called? City, like, do MLMs that much. I feel like Herbalife cafes are the worst with it. You have to go in a scheduler for fine. Yes. Um, Herbalife cafes are like super sketchy because like people do these pop up like smoothie cafes and stuff at like outside of gyms and things and they name it something else, but it's Herbalife products. It's like so sketchy. This live stream setup is everything. Thank you. Never name dropped. Um, are you older than Jarvis? No, he's older than me. But I'm definitely wiser. <laughs> oh my god, the B12 deficient legend herself. You know what? I just went to the doctor and I am B12 deficient. No joke. They actually said that I was B12 deficient. And I go, you know what? I got a t-shirt for that. Um, I get invited but I don't respond. That's the way to go. It's really sad when I see a friend who's fallen for an MLM convincing others it'll change their lives. Yeah, no kidding. It's so sad. It's like... A lot of art school grads get sucked into MLMs because the job market sucks. Oh my god, I never heard of that. But I can imagine that being true. We're in a lockdown again here in Ontario, Canada, and so many MLMs are cropping up again. Okay, can I ask the Canadian people, how do you guys feel about that? Because I'm seeing a lot of people um, saying you're still on lockdown. Are you, I don't know, I don't know what to say about that. Uh, I have that headset, but with the cat ears, yeah. That came out after I got this one. But I think Boo would get uncomfortable that I was cosplaying him. Uh, let me 
me see. You need B12 shots? I know. I know. Probably because most vulnerable people live in places like the suburbs. Yeah, that's probably true. I think it's just like, it's more families. I think a lot of like stay-at-home moms get into it. Where's my bedding from? Urban Outfitters. Are you going to do some more baking videos? You guys, here's the problem with the baking videos. Um, I was gaining a lot of weight. <laughs> and, oh my god, do you want me to tell the story of my gyno or not? Or should I save it for another day? When my gyno called me fat. I, I mentioned it in a video, but I might... I could tell it here, I guess. Oh my god, Canadian here, lockdowns are BS. I just feel like it's a lot. Like, I feel like it is a lot. That's all I can say. I, I don't want to tell anybody what to do. Also, f it feels like we've been in lockdowns like October. Are you guys getting, like, vaccines and stuff? Up there? I'm sure you are. Fake lockdown? Oh my god. Um... I like the cooking vlogs, but, oh, everybody's talking about, yeah, tell the story. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell it, I'll tell it. So, um, this is the story of my gyno calling me fat, and I don't think this is gonna, I'm not gonna give a trigger warning or anything, but it is, like, it was just so messed up. So, okay, so I go to my gyno, because every year I gotta get my birth control refilled. This might be TMI, but whatever. So every year I got to go get my birth control refilled. So I go to the, my gyno and every time I go to this gyno, I swear I have a problem with them. Like they say something to me that is just, it's so rude that I don't even know what to say. Like it upsets me every single time. And it's like, a, it's a completely fully women run women practice. So, and they always say stuff to me about like my weight and stuff. It's so across the line. So I go in. And well, let me tell you what they said to me last time. So I had this like I, I saw the nurse practitioner or whatever. And, um, you know, they always ask you for whatever reason they go, well, do you exercise regularly? And, you know, do you do drugs? And I go, no, I don't. You know, I was trying to be like funny, but I go, no, I don't exercise regularly. And um, she goes, I go, you know, sometimes maybe I'll like maybe sometimes I will, though, or like I'll go for a walk or something. She goes. Well, just so you know, window shopping isn't considered exercise. And I go, okay. <laughs> like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, why is she saying that? You know what I mean? So I go, whatever. Like, she's got issues, but I'm just going to, like, I'm just going to let it go. Like, I'm going to let it go. I'll be the bigger person for once, for once in my life. So this time around, I see my regular doctor and... I go in the back. I hadn't seen her, obviously, since last year. I go every year I go in January. And this year I went in February. So um, I sit down and I what I always do, and maybe this is neurotic or whatever, but what I always do when the tech brings me back is I go, you know what? Like, I don't really, I don't want to know my weight. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, don't tell me my weight. I don't want to know. Like, it'll ruin my day. You know what I mean? So... I go, just don't tell me. And <laughs> she's like, okay, whatever. But she still has me like, this is February. It's really cold. So I get on the scale and I knew like the reason why I'm saying that, by the way, is because I knew I was not in like my best tippy top shape. I had just done, I had just, I was in my cake baking phase. Okay. Also, we just came out of a pandy. Well, not really, but we were still in the middle of it. And yeah, I have told the story. I told that first story, I think before, but I knew I wasn't feel I wasn't like looking my best. I knew I was like maybe a little bit overweight, whatever. Like I always, but I always am. I always am not like super skinny in the winter. But to me, not being skinny in the winter is like a primordial concept. Like we all put on weight in the winter because we need to add, like the cavemen did that. <laughs> I don't know. That's just what I think. So... I go, just don't tell me my weight. So she goes, okay, sure, whatever. But she still has me get on with my full coat. She wait, she has me get on the scale, full coat, purse draped across me. It was a crossbody bag. And I go, 
Okay, yeah, I guess you could take my... I've never had somebody take my weight with a full puffer jacket. It was my... Am you know that Amazon jacket that I wear? The, like, Oralé one? Okay. So, you guys know. So, I get... I go into the room, and... I don't know. I thought that the tech might relay that information that I didn't want anyone to talk about my weight or tell me my weight, but she didn't, which is fine. I, you know, that's not really her job, but I'm sitting there and she, you know, she asked me the same questions the tech just asked me about, do you exercise? Do you, do you do drugs? Whatever. And she's literally asking me these questions as I'm sitting in the stirrups. So if you've been to the gyno, sitting in the stirrups is is the most vulnerable place you could be okay my purse would be seven pounds alone yeah that's what i well that's the way i rationalized it in my head too <laughs> um i just thought it was weird like you just shouldn't you should encourage people to at least take their jacket off and maybe their at least their purse let's just say that so anyway so i'm sitting in the stirrups right and she goes so what's the reason for such a large weight gain? I go, what? She goes, yeah, is there a reason? Like, is that a recent thing? Or um, like, what's the reason for you gaining that much weight? And I swear to, I swear on my life, that is what she said. Like, it, 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 I honestly, I felt my soul leave my body. And I'm sitting there in the stir, not the stirrups. Yeah, the stirrups. And I just go, I don't know if that's recent or not, but here's the problem, okay? Because she can, I guess it's fine if she, she is a doctor or whatever. I'm not, she is a doctor. I don't know why I just did the quotation marks. She is. But the problem is, is she never specified why she was asking me, why I had, she never specified if there was a medical reason that she would be asking me that question, okay? So I'm sitting there just like, what the hell, you know, okay. So also, it gets better than this. And um, it gets better than this. So I'm also sitting in the stirrups, still in the stirrups. Okay, still in the stirrups. <laughs> I hate that. I hate those stirrups, man. Um, and she goes, like, you guys know I have a lot of, like, the... I have a lot of these, like, whatever they're called. Mole, like, moles and stuff. And Jarvis got quiet. He wasn't there. He was actually in the car waiting for me and I came out and I was like, I looked like I'd seen a ghost. Um, she shouldn't say that though. I'm in the medical field. I would never. Yeah. Like it wasn't, she has a very bad bedside manner and yeah, gyms are closed. You can't, I don't think you should ever, especially like, that's why I said it's a women for, by women for women. And you're, I don't know. It was just so, it was so rude. So, um, Anyway, so, so, um, so anyway, I'm sitting there in the stirrups and I have all these like, you know, these beauty marks or whatever. And she goes, and I'm sitting there, I can't even see her. I can't even see her face. And she goes, so have you ever seen a dermatologist? Cause you need to get all these moles checked out. <laughs> you guys, this girl is like this, this guy is like kind of young too. She's kind of young. I need, I need to change gynos. I am now cause I'm on a new insurance cause I just got married. But I'm definitely changing. I go, I'm never coming back to this place ever again. I need to find a better one. I know. But it was just like, I just felt like that wasn't right. I don't know. Maybe some people disagree. But um, I think that doctors need to be, especially, you know, young people. Because a lot of people my age have probably experienced eating disorders once in their life. I know that I have. So to say something like that to me, I'm sorry, Smuckers. <laughs> I'm fine. You know what? It, I'm fine. It, it, I, I was up really upset though that day for sure. But um, yeah, it was just like, ew. And then she's asked me, you need to get these moles checked out. It's like, they're beauty marks, okay? Use the right term. <laughs> No, I don't know. I mean, maybe I probably do need to get them checked out, to be honest with you. But yeah, and that was like, I mean, the only the only saving grace was that my wedding was two weeks or two or three weeks later. So drop the clinic name. <laughs> I don't want to, but I, I will say that just don't go to any gynos in Barrington, Illinois. That's all I can say. Um. <laughs> 
My gyno told me you don't look like you weigh as much as you do. What's wrong with people? See, what's wrong with people? Yeah, that I think it is worth it to shop around for your OB-GYN for sure. You need to get your attitude checked. It was a hard day for both of us, Jarvis says. <laughs> yeah, she probably does. You know what? She probably does work for an MLM. You're probably right about that. Weight is not indifferent. Oh, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I'm, t I'm forgetting the best part of the story. I'd like to speak to the manager. Yes, I know. I actually almost called back. I almost called back. Um, okay, here's the best part of the story that I forgot to tell you. I cannot believe I forgot to say this. So I'm, I'm in shambles. I get in the car. I'm crying. And I was like, no, I, I can't, I can't do this. And I go, this just happened. I told Jarvis and then I get home and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to see how much I weigh because I, at that point I'd eaten breakfast. I'd eaten dinner. I'm sorry. I hadn't eaten dinner yet. I had eaten lunch. So I'm like, I'm just going to weigh myself right when I get home because right now I can't feel any worse than I already do. You know, like she's, 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 ruined me like I feel like she's ruined my day so I'm like it can't get much worse than this I'm just gonna see did you have to strip to get into the strips yes I did of course but um I'm just gonna see how much I weigh so I get on the scale and I'm like you know what whatever I'm getting on the scale you guys I was only five pounds heavier than the last time she saw me five five pounds and on top of that like if you look up which this is this is probably not true like I don't know how accurate it is but if you look up like you know average weight range or whatever or healthy weight range I'm still in within that I still was <sighs> that needs to be reported that could put somebody over the edge that honestly is true and that's that's kind of why um don't worry about weight. Here's the thing, though. I really don't worry about weight that m I don't really think about it. Like, I used to. Don't get me wrong. Back in the day, like, I used to be really... I would get upset about it and stuff like that. But um, nowadays, I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> That's another good part of being married. <laughs> Only five during a pandemic. That's what I thought, too. And I was in a baking phase. I'm going to lose my mind. I gave five, po five pounds every afternoon. Thank you. You're perfect the way you are. Thank you. <laughs> um, I just, I just don't, I don't know what it, I don't know. I just think that people, like, I don't know if doctors, like, they need, like, sensitivity training or something related to that. So, anyway, I hope that makes you guys feel better if you've had something like that happen to you, too, because... I just feel like that happens to me a lot. Like, people just say stuff to me, and I'm like, it sounds like I'm over-exaggerating, but it's like, no, people just really come out of nowhere and say stuff like that. <laughs> Five pounds, that's nothing. That's what I thought, too. But, and I, I mean, I knew that I was, like, not really, like, feeling my best. Like, it's good to, you know, feel healthy, but I don't know. So it, that was wrong. Worst story time with Kylie. I think I'm going to run out of story times if I keep telling you guys story times. But I will, I'll continue, I'll just make stuff up at, at some point. <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, and after a pandemic, too, it's like, what do you, what did you expect, lady? So they do get training, but some just have attitudes, yeah. That's the truth. You should try Beachbody. <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Literally the best day ever waiting for you to go live. I know. It's been a while. I've been so scared, you guys. I'm like I've been I've been terrified to just I don't know what I was scared of. I don't know. It could a hundred percent cost somebody to spiral. I a hundred percent agree, and it kind of did like in a way did. Um as a as I said before, my gyno said I need to get tested for HIV because she thought since I got married so young, my husband was cheating on me. <laughs> Oh my god, yours is worse than mine, and I thought mine was pretty bad. Kylie, have you played Stardew Valley? I've seen, like, th four people um, mention that, and I've not heard of that. Do you have any anti-MLM content coming? I do have an idea for... I have two ideas for a video, so yes, I'm going to have to film that soon. 
um, sometimes I think about the kids I went to high school with who wanted to become doctors, and I'm not surprised that most doctors are dicks. Um, I don't know if I, I knew anybody from my high school that wanted to be a doctor. They all wanted to be rappers. And so far, I don't know how that's working out, but it is what it is. Sweet Jean, I hope that you're feeling well. She hasn't tried Zelda, Jarvis said. Oh. Yeah, I need to try some new games, you guys. I've just been playing um, World of Warcraft. But what are you reading lately? Uh, I just ordered a new book. There's two new books coming out from two of my favorite authors. One of them is from, if any of you guys read The Hating Game, I love it. It's, um, is buying merch a good way to support you? Yeah. Just, I just think just watching my videos is good. You don't really have to buy my merch. I gotta come out with new merch. I gotta think of something new. Everyone in the suburb wants to be a rapper in high school. Yeah. It's, it's, it is, yeah, it is. You know what's crazy? On American Idol this year, there's a girl from, that's, like, from the town over, and she's, like, the front runner. Can you do a video on how you do your hair? Um, I did one. It's on my... It's actually on this vlog channel. It's how I touch up my roots. It's not very good, though. <laughs> Why is your super chat off? Oh, God. I don't even know. I don't even know how to get it on. <laughs> I'll figure that out later. This is just my first... This is my first stream ever, so we'll have to pick... We'll have to figure it out. Um... <laughs> Somebody said I read Jarvis's comment and go, who's the stalker? <laughs> yeah, he's stalking me. Jarvis, my husband always gets excited when you're in Kylie's videos. <laughs> Do you still sell the complaining as cathartic shirt? Uh, I don't know if I took that off or not. Please make pink gaming merch. Yeah, I need to. I can't think of anything, you guys. Like, I don't know. I don't know about any merch. I thought about doing something related to the bananas that I always have that I... It's like the changing of the guard at this point where I just change my bananas out every week because I let them rot and then I never eat them. But I don't know if people would. What is Super Chat? I don't. I have no idea, Jarvis. <laughs> Somebody please tell us. Jarvis, do you stream WoW or would you? Wait a minute. Wait, whoa, whoa. Is this a Jarvis stream or a Kylie stream? <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I told Jarvis he needs to stream. Like, I want to stream together, but... I don't know if he would be interested in doing something like that. Is this being posted later? I could leave it up, I guess. I'll have to see what... Super Chats in slow mode next time. So happy... Okay. Are you on Twitch? No. I, want, I actually would rather be on Twitch right now. Because I feel like it's kind of hard to... Uh, figure out... Like, YouTube. I think it's easier to navigate Twitch and see, like, who's actually live. Because I, I, I keep trying to... Um, f like... What was I thinking? Please put back up the no soliciting shirts. I want to redo those because I feel like that's a good idea, a good concept, but I need to redo them. You can donate money in Super Chats to the support. Oh, really? Oh, my God. I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. Hold on. Wait a minute. I can make money from this? Oh, let me check this out. <laughs> Stream settings. What on earth? I'll just have to figure, maybe I don't qualify yet. That could be that could be a thing. Um. Oh. Here we go. I just enabled slow mode. Uh, I'll put five seconds in between messages. Okay, I just enabled slow mode. Sorry, I don't know what I don't know what's really going on. Um. Yeah, I think Twitch is a better platform because. It's just, it's easier. Because, like, I try to watch, like, sorry, this is what I was going to say before. I try to watch, like, gaming stuff, you know? And, um, like, on YouTube, and I can never find it. Like, I guess you have to type in, like, YouTube gaming or something, or... I don't even know. I think Boo is, cu is, Boo is cuter than my own cat. Dude, Boo, Boo is on his worst behavior today, so... I do not condone that comment. Um... Oh, you might have to do it before you start the stream. Oh, darn it. Me losing out on all this money. No kidding. <laughs> I don't care. Um, I work for three doctors, and one of them will literally tell you to shower if you stink. What? <laughs> <laughs> At least there's, you know, we, we all need somebody in our life that tells us that we need to shower. And for Jarvis, I'm that person. 
She's a streamer already, folks. Enabling slow mode and everything. Still no super chat. I don't know how to do it. I don't want to. I'll ask Jarvis if he. Jarvis, can you try to figure that out while I'm doing this? Thanks, sweetie. Do you enjoy book clubs? I've never been in a book club. I never got invited to one. Do you need to be formally invited? <laughs> um, because if so, I am going to need somebody to invite me. The problem is, is like, I like to read at my own pace and I like to read the books that I want to read. Um, my bedding is from Urban Outfitters. But I just ordered, um, there's a new one by Sally Thorne who wrote The Hating Game. So... I was hollering when Boo puked on the new rug. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was hilarious. He actually puked on our wedding day. I had to clean that up with my spray. I was, like, in my spray tan. Oh, my God, it was a nightmare. I was so pissed. I don't know why he would, why he decided to do that, but, but he did. Uh, so, anyway, yeah, so there's a new Sally Thorne book that actually just got released, and then there's a new one coming out about, uh, what's it called? New one coming up out about from Casey West, who's my favorite author. Yeah, it's the best. Are you interested in reading any manga? I don't know. You, I need some recommendations. We need to start a monthly book club on live chat for sure. Reading The Hating Game still. Oh, my God. That's like that's a book where I read it and I go, I wanted to read it again. Like immediately. He had wedding jitters. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he had wedding jitters. I died when he fell out of the Christmas tree from Five Below. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that was pretty funny. Objecting to your marriage. Yep. Well, he already had his tuxedo on, so. I thought he'd be ready, but I guess he wasn't. Is Chicago really a dangerous place to live? I feel like I see a lot of bad stuff in the news, but the news only reports bad things. Um, where I live, no. Like, downtown, it's pretty safe, but... It's, uh, like, if you go, like, south, obviously, it's really bad, so. But, like, downtown, the area I live in, it's it's pretty safe, and they, they did a good job. Like, there's, like, pretty much cops on every block. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe you would like that. Maybe you don't. I don't know. <laughs> uh, what book genre do you like the most? I like young adult romance. And I pretty much don't stray from that at all. Serious question, how are the bananas doing? I literally threw away a bunch of bananas this morning. I'm not joking. Because <laughs> I, I didn't eat them in time. And I keep buying bananas. I, you need a Kindle? I know, I need one. I just use my iPad, though. Southside is rough, yeah. Ooh. Do you still go to the horrible Target? Kelsey, no, I haven't been there. I, don't, I honestly don't know if I've been there since I saw you that day. I'm not joking. I, I avoid it like the plague. Um... You can't talk about Boo in the tux and not show us. Oh, well, I'm saying I'm saying he was in a tux because of, he's a tuxedo cat. But I did buy like a little tuxedo collar for him. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. Let me find it. He looked hilarious. Here, can we? Here, I'll show you. Oh, government secrets getting getting out. You see that? He was not happy. Let me show it. Let me show you another one because he looks so cute. He looked so freaking cute. Look at that. Look at that little guy. He's so cute. Um, how do you mix your home decor aesthetic and still include touches for your hubby? Have um, I just don't even consider him, honestly. I just basically say, hey, if you want your uh, gaming setup, then you can have it. But, like, you have no business in my business, which is home decor. <laughs> Leave it to the professionals, would you? <laughs> oh, he's so cute, yeah. Br banana bread calls for brown bananas. I know, but I told you guys that my baking habit is, um, was he the ring boy? No, we actually had Jarvis's sister as, the, as our ring bearer. It was really sweet. What type of content is your favorite to make? Probably vlogs because they're just really just carefree, fun. Um, 
I was at the same Draco Malfoy meet and greet in the suburb the suburban movie theater years ago. Are you kidding me? That was literally the best day of my life. Is the day I met Tom Felton. It was just like such a great day. Can you link your mic? Yeah. Um, the mic that I use is the Razer Siren X, and it's the quartz pink one. Um, are you still planning on moving to New York? I want to, but then I also at the same time don't want to. Um, I'm curious why you don't drink anymore. I've been drinking a lot less lately. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I'll be honest with you guys. I baked cookies last night. <laughs> what are you talking about? You're baking face me. Well, that's because we started eating healthy today. Um, you guys, a lot of people ask me, like they asked me in that last video too. And I'll just be honest because I feel like a lot of people, I think it's good to be honest about these things, but, um, a lot of people asked me in my party planning video, like the one that I just posted on this channel, but they were asking me why I don't drink because I specified that the drinks were non-alcoholic. And um, I I personally don't drink because alcoholism, alcoholism runs in my family. So I've only ever seen it like in, in personally in my own life, alcohol, like when I talked about my college days were out of control not it was because of alcohol like nothing in my life nothing good in my life has ever come from drinking alcohol plus I just don't like the taste so um that's the reason why I don't drink so a lot of us don't drink because you know just to support people that can't in our family gotta stick together you know that might be TMI but oh well <laughs> how's your health um hopefully my stream's still going I'm, I'm sorry if it's lagging but do you watch WWE? I, I used to. Swear to God, I used to. I was a huge John Cena fan. I used to watch it with my dad. Um, yeah, it's really, it's really sad when it happens to your family. Alcohol. It's just, I'd rather have, co honestly, that's the same. I'd rather have a Coke. Haven't drank for 13 years. Nice job. I know that's not anyone's business, but I feel like some people are curious because I think alcohol is a big topic, and um, so I don't mind sharing that. But still watching Gilmore Girls, what's your favorite season and character? Um, I just finished it, and that's one of my favorite shows of all time. My favorite s character was probably Kirk, <laughs> but... That's like, if you guys haven't watched Gilmore Girls, it's such a great, um, it's just such a great show. Like, it's just wholesome. It's, it's so fun. And one of my favorite characters of all time is probably the main character, which is Lorelai, who's played by Lauren Graham. She's just the best. Am I Team Dean, Team Jess, or Team Logan? Honestly, I'm Team none of them. None ya. I hate all of them. I didn't like any of Rory's boyfriends, and I loved every single one, every single one of Lorelai's boyfriends. John Cena shops at my Publix. Oh my God! Would you get an autograph for me? Ask him to take a video and say, "Hey, Kylie." <laughs> Just kidding. Is Boo allowed around my gaming stuff? He's not, but he does go around my gaming stuff. Watch Parenthood next. That's what my mom told me to do. Um, can you send me a custom cut for my small business? Just send me a link, and I'll just buy it from you. Send a link to my, uh, my email. This is random, but does your white blood cell issue make you more at risk for COVID? It does, but, um, I don't really go outside anyway, so. <laughs> it's been all good. <laughs> I hated Logan. Team Jess, you guys, I actually agree with you on that one a little bit. Because Jess actually turned out to be pretty good. Like, you know, when he wrote that book, my unpopular opinion is I hate Rory. Honestly, you guys... I don't, I wouldn't say I hate Rory, but her, let me, okay, just tell me if I'm right or wrong, but she kind of has a baby voice throughout the whole show. Like, the whole show, she's got a baby voice. Um, my email is in the, it's in the link of my um, YouTube, it's in the description of my YouTube videos. Yeah, Rory's the daughter. Last season makes me depressed, Yeah. Me too. I'm just kind of sad that it's over. Jess was the hottest? Whoa, 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 whoa. I cannot comment on that. I don't know. Like, you know what's crazy is that 
Dean actually went on, to, like, the Dean, the actor, went on to, like, a super successful show. Like, I think he's on that show, like, Supernatural or something. And it ran for, like, 13 seasons. Yeah, she just had, like, a... You know what was crazy about Rory? If we're... Hopefully people are still... Hopefully enough people saw the show to understand what I'm saying. But, like, um, who was it? I think it was Mitchum Huntsberger, so Logan's dad. When he gave her that advice when she was working with him at the... Uh, at his paper or whatever and he goes well you should have said something you should have spoke up like I want writers who are gonna go out there and you know be ambitious or whatever like I felt like he was giving her very good critical advice and everybody freaked out for the next like for the the whole season they freaked out because he said that and I go everything that um Mitchum Huntsberger ever said to her like any criticism he gave was always it was always, to me, good critical advice, or criticism, I mean. Constructive criticism. Rory acts so innocent because she's an a-hole. <laughs> Whoa. Team Luke. Uh, you guys, I wasn't Team Luke after a while, but because um, of that whole thing with his daughter, like, I thought that was, like, sketchy business, but then it, it all came back around. Um, the actor who plays Jess is the main character of This Is Us? No kidding. The Milo or something? Milo? I ran on the treadmill next to the actor that plays Rory's dad once. Whoa! Christopher? That's crazy. Yeah, that is the T. Mitchum, Mitchum was right about everything he said. I don't understand. They're all dysfunctional? Yeah, probably. Rory had horrible decision-making skills. Honestly, yeah, she did. And I don't understand how she was... The valedictorian of Ror of Yale, and then she also got the Yale Daily editor, Yale Daily News editor job. Like I don't even get it. Sephora sale hall. I only got three things from there, and yeah, she dropped out of Yale for one piece of criticism. That, like that is insane to me. I was so Team Lorelai back then, but um, anyway, Sephora sale hall. I literally just bought an eyelash curler, and that was it. <laughs> I'm so sad. Christopher was toxic. I felt like he was actually, like, he was probably the most interesting of her boyfriends. But he just wasn't, he, like, wasn't reliable and he wasn't dependable. And he also didn't fit into that town. I can't stop watching The Office. And I'm back on season one. Office is one of the best shows of all time, I have to say. I have to say, he's very, Philip Van Dyke, who plays Christopher, is very active on Instagram. No kidding. When is a baby coming? Uh, I don't know. Probably won't have kids. Please consider posting this video afterwards. I will, I'll try to. Are you going to watch the Gilbert and Girls reboot in real life? I mean, a year in the life? I don't want to. I don't. Yeah, you found it depressing. I don't really want to watch it either. I don't really want to watch it because I feel like it's just like I like where the show ended and I think I'm just going to I'm just going to leave it there. You know? Have you watched Superstore? Christopher Actor is a terrible person in real life. Oh, my God. Kylie, I have to go. Thanks for the surprise live. Thanks so much for coming to the live. I will never forget all the people who were at my first live stream. <laughs> have you seen the show Superstore? No, I haven't. What's the, your koozie brand? This is a, a brew mate. And it, like, holds cans and keeps them cool. I love it. Best office episode? I kind of like the one where they do the, <laughs> what was it? They did like a murder mystery party. I thought that was pretty funny. And they all dressed up like different characters. <laughs> I like all of them. You need to start a podcast. I feel like I wouldn't even know what to talk about. I feel like I would not know what to talk about. The reboot was my 13th reason. <laughs> oh, I think I see somebody waking up. Hey, boo. Hi, honey. What are you doing? He's right there. Uh-oh. What's in your cup? I have a Diet Dr. Pepper. <laughs> are you drinking a bang? No. I swear to God, those bangs almost stopped my heart. I'm not joking. Like, they literally almost stopped my heart. <laughs> I literally would get, like, stomach pains. And I would get, like, tw I would start to twitch. Those things are, like, a jet fuel. 
but they do get you to wake up. Yeah, the, oh my god, there's been a murder, I do declare, yeah, that was pretty funny. Oh, the dinner party episode was a really good office episode, yeah. I loved it. Oh, Lord, he coming. If Jarvis is in the military, will you have to be stationed somewhere? He actually just got out of the military last month. So, I am no longer a military spouse. I was a military spouse for 13 days. He, you make, he makes me want a cat really bad. Well, wait until he pukes on your brand new rug. Hey, you want to come right here? Oh, I think he's going to come. Let's see. Come on. I think he's going to come. Yep, here he comes. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. He knew I was going to be on live stream. He knew. Jarvis, Jarvis only, he's just looking, he's waiting for comments about him so he can reply to those comments. It's so beyond messed up. Um, if you have something to say, get your own stream. How about that? Hey, how about that? Thanks, sweetie. Did you put military wife in your bio? Uh, you bet. I actually, the only time I ever got to use Jarvis's military benefits was when, um, I took Boo to the vet to get whatever it was. I don't know what it was, but they go, uh, I, I saw that they gave a military discount and I go, oh, um, I, uh, my boyfriend's military and they go, well, is he Boo's dad? And I go, yeah. And they go, all right, I'll give you the <laughs> I'll give you the discount. <laughs> so we, we got the military discount for the... He's a military dependent at this point. But I don't know if I'll get that same discount ever again. ASMR Kitty Edition. Boom. He's got problems. Taking you with me to get coffee? Get one for me. Um, whisk. Do not feed cats whiskas. Oh my god. Is Jarvis in the living room? Yeah, he's at his desk in the other room. All the Huns will reach out to you since you're a military wife. Dude, it's so sad. It's so sad what goes on on those military bases with, like, the... And you know what's, like, sad is the basis of why there's so many military spouses doing it is because, you know, they, it, they're they in, like, probably rural, like strange rural areas and they just want to contribute to their family, but it's just sad because they just get sucked in, you know, sucked into these pyramid schemes. Like, they think that's the only way, and they just want to contribute, but... Um, oh, Jarvis, somebody asked you if you got the secret slime mount on World of Warcraft. <laughs> Dude, I gotta do a World of Warcraft stream immediately. I gotta show you guys, a, I gotta do a tour on my, uh, on my gear. Dude, I, I was doing PvP yesterday, and I was crushing it. What, Jarvis, so, somebody asked you, what's your feel, favorite meal that I make? Dude, yesterday I made the worst um, dinner that I've ever made. And I usually don't make uh, spaghetti bad, but I made legit the worst meal. Like, we both look at each other and we're like... I mean, the noodles were just clumping together. I don't know what happened. Shout out Kirk Henderson. He loves your videos. Shout out Kirk. Love you, Kirk. I found your channel when I was seven months pregnant last year, right when the pandy started and my state shut down. Thanks for all your content. Helped distract me from all my anxiety. Ooh. Can we see your ring? Appreciate that comment, by the way. This is my ring. So this is my ring from my grandma. This is like my like wedding ring or whatever but then I bought this to make it look more like a <laughs> um potato soup <laughs> is his favorite oh that was a dis that was another disaster um but I bought this one from Amazon I absolutely hate it like this little small one it was like 10 bucks but I wanted it to more look like look more like a engagement ring wedding ring setup but it's like the wrong color gold it's just yucky so I gotta get a new one. Are you gonna try WoW Classic? My guild there, really enjoying it. Um, Jarvis is probably gonna do it. I probably won't. Um, yeah, we've had some pretty big scandals, like me making really bad meals for Jarvis. Like, it's been pretty sketchy. It's been so sad. 
<laughs> it's been like I made some pretty bad ones, but um, am I wearing it on my right finger? Oh, my camera's flipped, by the way. So it looks like I'm wearing it on my right, but it's actually my left. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. But do I wish I would have gotten married sooner? Um, no, yeah, and you know, here's why I'll say Boo looks like he's ready to move to New York. Yeah, probably. Um, Boo just wants to get the hell away from me. But do you wish I had gotten married sooner? Um, no, I think that it's good that we got married during the, like, during all of this because I, uh, I just, I really just did not want to have a big wedding at all. So I just, I was so happy that I didn't have to do that. Like, have to invite everybody and, like, have the awkwardness of, like, not inviting people, you know what I mean? And having to deal with that. So actually, I feel like this was a perfect time. Those TRICARE benefits, though, I know. I'm missing out. I've been watching for five years. Love this live stream. Oh, my God. I feel like I, it's been, I think I've been on YouTube for, yeah, I've been on YouTube for five years, I think, or maybe six. Are you moving soon? So let me give you guys an, let me give you guys the, uh, um, Oh my God, sending you love from Terrible. Dude, you guys, she's the best. You should check her out on Etsy. It's it's um, spelled T-E-R-R-I-B-L-A-Y and she sells really cute stuff on Etsy. And yes, my, um, my shirt has stood up to many spaghetti stains. But here's like the, here's like the plan. Like we got a crazy next couple months. So, um, he obviously, jar well, it was my birthday. Well, here's, let me start from the beginning. Got married. My mom, it was, um, you know, like crazy two weeks after that. My mom's birthday, my birthday. Um, he, Jarvis graduated the military sometime in there, in there also. He's graduating next month from classes. And then... After that, we only, he has, you know, some time to find a job, but wherever he gets a job is where, where we're going to move. And we only have like a couple months before our lease is up on this place. So it's just crazy. Are y'all having a honeymoon? Um, we're definitely going to go somewhere when, I mean, we're, we're probably just going to go somewhere. We're probably going to have 10 honeymoons. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, like, use that as an excuse to go somewhere. What's a good, what a good way to end the work day? Did you have a good birthday? Yes, I did. Your friend Emma's seasoning goes hard. Oh, my God. I just talked to her the other day. You guys, <laughs> I gotta tell you a funny story. Emma messaged me the other day, and she goes, hey, um, you're gonna get an email pretty soon from a casting director. I go, what? From who? She goes, yeah, I have no idea. She's like, I don't even know what it's about, but you're gonna get an email soon. So I go, okay, sure, you know, whatever, right? So I get this email from um, this lady who's like an MTV like casting director. I was like, is this real? And it was a Zoom link for 8.30 in the morning the next day. And I go, Emma, what is this? She goes, I don't know that much. I'll just see you in the Zoom call. I go, am I being set up or something? And... Uh, she's like so I just get in there and it was an actual casting for like some random show like a like some show on the O network or something and it was like me and Emma and uh one of our friends Brooke and we're just in there like casting for this show it was hilarious I have no idea what's gonna happen uh where's my sweatshirt from nasty gal that's where all my stuff's from um Boo just left. So rude. But a lot of you guys said you've been watching since your Why I Quit Sephora video. Um, That's a long time ago. I think Boo wants to leave. Maybe Jarvis can come get him. Time for me to go back and start binging every Vlogmas. I know, right? Yeah, that's... I've been, I've been doing Vlogmas since, like, what? 20, 2016 or something? I don't know. Going to go to Cape Charles, Virginia for our honeymoon. Epic. <laughs> Boo's so, such a brat. 
Oh my god, you're gonna be famous? Me? Oh yeah. Wait a minute, I thought I already was. Wait a minute, what's what's going on here? What do I not know? Still down if I get Coldplay tickets for us? Um, yes. Can That could be my, uh, that could be your gift to me for my wedding. Thanks so much. <laughs> um, how did I miss this? Late to the party? No, it's all good. This is my first live stream though, so welcome. I will never forget your name, Sandra. <laughs> You were instrumental in my success. Help me pick a name for my baby. LOL struggling. Oh my god. Um, um, Kylie? I don't know. Sounds pretty good to me. Can't you temporarily move in with your parents if needed? Yeah, I guess we probably could. Um, no, Jarvis just opened the door for him. <laughs> but Boo has opened that door before. Uh, do we play Fortnite? No, we ha- I tried to play and then I just got killed. So, I quit right away. Kylie getting a show? We can say we knew her when. Oh, yeah. Well, it's about time. I mean, come on. What music artist do you guys- do I listen to? Um, I listen to- Oh my god, you know whose album that I love and I've never listened to him before a week ago is Machine Gun Kelly, actually. I love his album because it reminds me of, like, 2005 punk music like you know like that emo kind of and i was obsessed with like you know like the myspace days when like emo kids ruled the world can you shout out keith shout out keith love you love you keith um how did boo get his name that's good i don't even know i think we got him around halloween so maybe that's why kylie gonna be a guest host on catfish i am not kidding when i say if I could ever have one thing happen to me that's good in my life for once, it would be being a host on Catfish. I love Catfish. I love that show. Do I ever plan on stream on Twitch? Yes, I do. I actually want to switch over to that after this. Sorry, guys. Why <laughs> MGK? I don't know. It's just so good. It's like, it's that kind of music that I used to listen to because it's kind of like the main and all time low. It's like kind of sounds like that. You know what I mean? I miss MySpace. I. I would say I miss MySpace, but honestly, I, uh, my parents never let me go on there. It was like pulling teeth to even let them get a, to even let me get a AO, or AIM. And even then I had to download it secretly. It was so fucked up. Um, if I did a Sims Let's Play, I know, right? I never got into Sims when I was a kid, but my friend, I would just sit there and watch her play. Did you guys ever go to your friend's house? when you were like younger and just watch your friends play video games that i feel like that was my whole childhood was just me watching my friends play video games it was so messed up <laughs> twitch name kylie please okay right now my twitch name um so you guys can follow me i don't know if i should change it or not but it's just kylie right here maybe i could post it or something i don't i honestly don't even know oh oh here we go here we go, here we go. I'll post it right here. There we go. Um, did you have a Tumblr? I used to have a Tumblr, but I just... Oh my god. I, I'm so embarrassed to say this, but I'll say it anyway. I don't care. I don't care, I'll say it. This is this is honesty hour, isn't it? But... Um, <laughs> on Tumblr, it was... I remember it like it was yesterday. It was 2014... And I was, um, my friend had just introduced me to Tumblr and I saw it and I was like, oh my God, these people are like so legit cool. Like they were so aesthetic and just so, I loved every aspect of it. So I, I came home, she showed me the Tumblr. I was like, I had gone on it a little bit. I saw people were like answering questions, like Q and A questions and I saw that they were like kind of famous on Tumblr. Like people were famous. They used to be famous on Tumblr. So then um, I came home one day. I looked myself in the mirror like so cringy, but I, I swear I did this. And I go, this summer I am dedicating my life to getting Tumblr famous. And needless to say, I never even got like one repost and <laughs> on anything. <laughs> I never was, I never was K 
Can we get a Discord started? Yeah, I don't know how to do that. If somebody wants to take the lead on that one, then we should do that. We need a Discord. I think we do because we do need a place to discuss drama. And that is all I can say. Off to my beauty sleep. Tracy, do your thing, girl. Get that beauty sleep. Um, you should do boxy charm reviews or unboxings. I used to do boxy charm, but they stopped sending it to me. <laughs> I still want to be Tumblr famous. Yeah, I wish I was. Oh my god. I feel like I'm not really YouTube famous either, but one day I will be famous on something no matter what. I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't really care. I don't really want to be famous anymore now that it's like, you know, Twitch partner, here you come. We, we must get Twitch partner extremely fast. I peaked when I was 15 with a thousand Tumblr followers. How did you do that? I am in the presence of royalty. Yeah, we need a Discord. So like, I'll try to work on that. I'll try to work on that. Jarvis said that he'll he'll do it. He'll help me with it. So I will, um, going back to work, see ya. Thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Um, hi, Margaret. I don't know who we're talking to. But I did. <gasps> yes, I need my Twitch. Uh, I need my Twitch followers to grow because that's where we're, we're going to need to move over to there pretty soon. But we're actually doing good over here. This is crazy. You had 20,000 on Tumblr. You have 20,000. What? Am I in a guru gossip discord? I am not because I feel like that would probably destroy my mental health. <laughs> 20k on tumblr what the heck were you guys doing how did you even get that that is literally insane that's literally insane i i literally i couldn't figure t tumblr out i deleted it because it was too much yeah tumblr was a, that tumblr was a strange place yeah jarvis is here i met my husband on tumblr dude that is crazy i just miss those days you know like catfish like the reason why i love catfish so much is because i loved that time period like when tumblr was you know really big and like i mean yeah i don't know i had three kid on three k on twitter i thought it was hot shit yeah i think i had three k on twitter before i got ran off that app so three k on twitter is a lot like especially when 60k on tumblr Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. We need to start doing some interviews here. Seeing what how these people got to, rose to fame so quick. We love you over here. Did I ever have an emo phase? No, I wish I did. Honestly, I wish I did. I wish I did. I just wasn't, like, confident enough to do it. I'm still in an emo phase? Yeah. <laughs> I guess it depends. What's emo? You know what I mean? Because I think I am emo, but it just depends. I would have sold my soul to be 15 and Tumblr famous. Honestly, if I was 15 and Tumblr famous, you guys don't even want to know what would have happened. I would have terrorized everybody with, like, just thinking I'm so cool. Like, do you know what? Do you ever think about that? Like, with these kids that are, you know, like, really famous on, um... Bye, Kelsey. Thanks for coming. Um, do you think about the kids that are in high school who are, like, super famous? Can you imagine having the power... You know, and, and not even power, but just like just to have that much, that many followers in high school. Consider yourself lucky I never escaped. <laughs> what type of person was I in high school? Um, I was just obsessed with soccer. Like I was obsessed with soccer. There was nothing. I didn't do anything else besides play soccer. I don't even remember what I, where I was in high school because I was just playing soccer every day. And that was, like, pretty much what people knew me for. It was, like, I just played soccer. She spends her night in Battlegrounds listening to My Chemical Romance. True. <laughs> it's easy to get followers when you're a fandom. Dude, my, uh, my childhood best friend was... She was Twitter famous because she ran, like, a humongous One Direction, like, anonymous fandom account. It was wild bananas. What time is it where you are? It's 
4 p.m. where I am. I got 80 likes on a TikTok video. Damn. Dude, TikTok is taking over. I don't even know. Did you go to HDJ? Yeah. For those people that didn't know, the high school I went to was literally called Harry D. You heard that right? Harry D. High School. Harry D. Jacobs High School. Harry D. So, if any of you, you know, bye Caitlin, thanks for coming. Um, yeah, it's, uh, if any of you went to a high school, just know that it wasn't as bad as, what, you know, the name that I, of mine. And our high school colors were brown, brown and yellow. Brown and yellow. Can you imagine trying to look cute at, a, at a, like a football game or something in brown and yellow? That's so not my complexion colors. It's so messed up. Literally so messed up. That high school name, though, it's, it's actually, I mean, it's real. <laughs> Harry D. Yeah, I got to go to the Harry D. See you guys later. Peace. Can you imagine doing a chant? Can you imagine how, how hard my life was? Let's go Harry D. Huh? Check it out. It's in Algonquin, Illinois. You can check it out. Yep, that, that's my, um, that was my 13th reason. What do you think about the anti-MLM community? Such drama now. Uh, it is such drama, and I just, I just sit back and watch, man. I don't even know what to say about that one. So unfortunate. Literally pee and poop nasty. Yep. It is child abuse, you're right. <laughs> there was a high school in my hometown with a team named the Browns. True. That's... It's true. That's that's pretty bad, too. My high school inspired the movie Grease with John Travolta. Whoa. Dude, what can Brown do for you? Yeah, yeah buddy. Are you still happy making MLM content? I am, but um, I sometimes I just, like, don't really know what to post, so I just, like, don't really post because I don't have anything to post. You know what I mean? I need you to do a video on it. We had a brown and orange at Hershey High School in Arlington Heights. <laughs> Hershey High School. Love it. What's the drama in the anti-MLM community? I don't know. Somebody else want to fill, fill that one in? I just feel like... I feel like a lot... Here's the drama. I mean, I, I'll just kind of summarize, but there's been, there was two, like, YouTubers that, like, were anti-MLM YouTubers who... Um, well, one of them ended up joining an MLM. <laughs> so, I mean, that's really all I can say. So, you, then you're kind of like, wait a minute, what? Uh, wait, what were all those videos for again? But whatever. Um, do you ever do you ever miss making beauty content? I do. Um, and I recently started getting into makeup again, actually. Like, because I bought a bunch of stuff for my wedding. And, uh... Like, I did, like, a huge haul of all the makeup I used to wear. So, like, because I was looking back at my photos and of, like, me when I worked at Sephora. And I was, like, why was my makeup so good back then? Like, obviously, I was younger and I didn't really have, like, the, like, fine, you know, fine line wrinkles and stuff that I do now. But, um, she joined Monet. But... I, I didn't have, like, the fine lines and wrinkles and stuff, but I, w I looked back and I was like, why was my makeup so good? And, uh... And so, anyway, I went back and I bought all the same stuff. So, like, I went back and I bought the Milani 2-in-1 Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I went back, I bought the, um... Like, the Makeup Revolution Concealer. I wonder if I have any of the stuff I used to use in here. No, not really. But I have all my makeup out there. But, yeah, so I, I like, I used that. I did, like, the Laura Mercier translucent powder. Um, I bought, like, the eyelashes I used to wear. Because I'm going to show, like, I'm going to do a, a video on uh, my makeup. Because I filmed it that day. Because I did it myself. And fine lines. Um, I, I actually get, I mean, a lot of people know, but I get Botox. Because I have, like, really bad wrinkles up here. Can you see that? Do, do, don't. Nobody screen grab that. No one screen grab that. 
What were those glitters I used to wear all the time? I wore one on my seed. That's another one. Jarvis just said you don't have wrinkles. You know I do. I know uh, you're just capping. Okay. Um, they're the beauty creations. This is not the one specifically, but they're the beauty creations ones. And I wore the silver one on my wedding and it was so epic. And I was like, oh my God. Yeah. They're the best. They're the best to me. And it's kind of like a smaller brand. The video I, the, you should do a video on the makeup you wore. Yeah. I filmed it and I'm just going to tell you guys like the products. I just need to do like a voiceover or something, but I'm studying for nursing exams and watching this live. Oh my God. Good luck. Good luck. Love it. Throwback makeup products. Yeah. So like, yeah, I, bu I bought all the same products and honestly my makeup came out per like just perfect. It looked exactly like it did back then. And it's just like, I found like the perfect combination. I bought the Smashbox photo finish primer which is like I used to use that all the time it's so epic it's so epic Kylie you're a gay icon thank you love my gaze I really do did we ever get answers regarding the shop hush app I'm still bitter about it ending okay you want some tea on that one? Oh, I'll give you some tea on that one I'm surprised that you guys that you even remembered that so there used to be this app called Shop Hush, and I might even have it. I think I have it on my, um, on my, I gotta move back really quick. I think I have it on my, let me see if I can just, oh. What the, what's going on with this? Okay. This is the book, by the way, I saw somebody ask. I just bought this. I'm not reading it, but. It's supposed to be funny. Okay. So, uh, here, I'll, I'll repost the tw my new Twitch name. But there was this app called Shop Hush. And hold on, I don't want... And it was a makeup app. And it was literally, it was actually kind of epic, to be honest with you. Yeah, here it is. I knew I would have it. Okay right here see this one it was this like pink one just having that on my ipad is a, is a relic by the way but um yeah you used to get like free stuff and stuff and it was just so it was like it was cool like it was like really cheap affordable makeup stuff and it was kind of epic and i i did like sponsor i did tons of sponsorships like i did maybe four and then they had me in like a youtube ad too so like i was doing like youtube ads with shop hush and like so people would be like on a video and then they'd see my face and i'd be like hey you know buy download shop hush or whatever the hell so um yeah it, it was um so I, all of a sudden it just, it was like, we're closing. Sorry. Like we're closing. And I go, okay. Um, that was weird. Everybody was pissed. They're like, can we get some answers please? Like, I don't understand what's going on. And, um, so then I get an email from this, this company called, God, what is it called? I think it's called bat, not bad hat. No, hip, hip dough. Hip dot, right? Do you guys know that one? It's like a palettes and stuff. I found you through that commercial. Oh my god. Yeah, so uh, this guy from this brand Hip Dot messaged me, and it was the same guy. He was messaging me about a sponsorship, and it was the same guy who used to message me about Shop Hush. So I recognize that, and I go, Hey, do you have? can you tell me something about this? And he just goes, um, I got to look up. I could even maybe find the email. I'll try to look for it later. But he just goes like, yeah, it was, um, it was like really shady business projects. And they like went, they like went broke or something. I don't know. Yeah. I don't, I think that they probably did get sued or something. I have no idea, but it was, it was cuckoo bananas. Hip dot is growing. Or is it Hipto or Hip Dot? Yeah. They just did like a SpongeBob or something or I mean, I'll t I'll tell you some tea though. This this like still kind of gets me 
a little bit mad. I would still buy from that brand. I just think that it was like, I don't know, something happened, but it was like so weird because I got a sponsorship from that brand, Hip Dot or Hipdo or whatever. And they were messaging me and they're like, okay, you know, I'll, uh, we'll pay you this. Like, we just need you to do like a review video or something. And this is back when I was doing like makeup videos and stuff. So I do, I, I rush home. I don't know where I was. This is like several years ago, but I rush home. I, I just like, I was traveling somewhere and I get home and I film the video in one day, edit it in one day. I was freaking out. I had like so much anxiety. Right. And then I send it over because I send over the video and I'm like, Hey, here's the video for review before I post it. And they, like, I think they agreed to pay me like a thousand dollars or something. I don't know what it was, but, uh, that was kind of a lot for back then. And then they literally never replied to me. So I sent them this video and they never replied to me. I have never had that happen before. <laughs> But I'm not saying it's anything about the brand. I think that something just got mixed up. Like, I don't know what happened. Sometimes people just, like, quit uh, brands or something. I don't know. But it was kind of sketchy, I'll be honest. Wasn't there a company, whatever, called Bad Habit that was on Shop Hush? Yeah. And so I don't know if it's the same Bad Habit now that's, like, affiliated with Emma Chamberlain. But I have no idea. I have a Shop Hush. I have a ton of Shop Hush palettes in my drawer right now. It's insane. I, I I bought so many from that bad habit com like um, company. Uh, you and Jarvis have the cutest relationship. What's some relationship advice? Um, my advice would probably be don't take advice from other people because they probably have a wor a really bad relationship. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Like I just feel like people have only ever given me bad advice <laughs> so that's why i say that <laughs> no they never paid me for it so i basically filmed a video and then nothing happened <laughs> i don't know what is going on wait what somebody said literally doing my makeup with a bad habit athena palette yes yes those were honestly those were pretty good and they were really i just liked that they were so affordable you know what i mean Hey, <laughs> they were, I just like, I like affordable stuff because it's like, you know, some people can't afford to be like, I don't know, like super, they can't afford like those big brands. Like, you know what I mean? Are you still into Ina Garden? Uh, yeah. Didn't Hipto just do a Reese's collab? Oh my God. I have no idea. <laughs> a Reese's collab. I have no idea. <laughs> what? What's your biggest pet peeve? Um, it's a good one. Um, I'm trying to think about when I get really mad. There's a lot of things I get really mad about. Uh, I don't like when people are like really loud in public spaces. Like they're listening to music really loud. It's like, do you not care about that there's like other people here or what? I don't know. What are your guys' like biggest pet peeves? I need to know. Maybe you'll jog my, you know, my memory. Do you have any dupes for Love Shack Fantasy? No, I don't. Oh, my biggest pet peeve is water parks. <laughs> so true. I don't, I, you know what? That's the best thing that happened from this pandemic is water parks got shut down. <laughs> Hashtag take down the water parks. Um, do you ever check IG DMs? I honestly, I don't really check them that much. I don't really go on Instagram that much, if you guys haven't noticed. MLM scammers, yeah. I get real, I have, you know, the thing that I don't like about MLMs mainly is just that they're scamming people. Um, and they're lying. Biggest pet peeve, definitely Peach Buddy. Yeah, that's true. Pet peeve is when people suddenly stop in front of me when we're walking in a crowd. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I think I've done that, though. Getting maple syrup on my fingers. Okay, how often is that happening to you? <laughs> that's that's pretty funny. <laughs> like, yeah, that's my biggest pet peeve is maple syrup on my fingers. It happens all the time. 
Um, what's wrong with water parks? Oh, no, 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 no. You did not just ask that. You did not just ask that. I have a video on my other channel. It's just, they're disgusting. And then you're, you're half the time you're not even in the water. Half the time you're not in the water. You're, wa you're standing in your bathing suit, cold, waiting to go down a slide. It's, the risk is not worth the, the risk is not worth the reward. When people let their phone ring on full volume. Yeah, I think I've done that. I, yeah, <laughs> that is my favorite bit that I, my jo favorite joke is the poop in the pool thing. Uh, maple syrup in my hair is worse. What, you guys, if you can't handle maple syrup, you gotta stop doing stuff with maple syrup. That's all I gotta say. Can we see your ring? There she is. It's a little bit different. Hold on, there we go. It's different, but that's it. And best part was it was free 99. F-R-E-E. -E. Jacuzzis are kind of gross, to be honest. Yeah. I actually knew somebody that had a double lung transplant because they caught a, something like from a hot tub. Kylie, we're messy. You guys, it's not being messy. It's about you've got problems with maple syrup that need to be figured out. <laughs> um, you need a whole video on why water parks need to be shut down. I might have to refresh that video because people need refreshing. Um, when people ask me a question and then interrupt me while I'm answering their question, you know, that's a problem that we have in our society is people only ask questions to answer their own question. I don't know. When people make definitive statements, when you know they have no definite knowledge of the subject. Yeah, that's probably, yeah. Just like know-it-alls. How about when your hair gets caught in your lip gloss? That's actually not been a problem for me since I haven't been wearing lip gloss, but... Um, were, you, were you going to game at all during the stream today? I don't know if I am, but... <laughs> Kylie, tell me you're never just eating waffles and your hair gets in the syrup. You guys, I don't know what's going on. I am not having these negative interactions with syrup the way that you are. <laughs> I hate when guys mop up gravy with bread. Honestly, that is a great one. That is like one of those, you know when they talk about like ick factors with guys? That is a great one. Why do people mop up like, ugh, that gives me the chills. Are the maple fo syrup folks Canadian? I don't know. I feel like Canadians have probably figured out maple syrup by now. Um, Kylie has been spreading the good word about water parks since Vlogmas 2017. Just trying to do my part. Just trying to do my part. Do you love living in the city or do you miss the burbs? Honestly, I was talking about this kind of earlier, but um, I don't know, man. I'm at a crossroads. <laughs> I just heard Jarvis laughing. But um, I'm at a crossroads in my life because, you know, I want more space and I don't know if I like, I, I don't know, like in the housing market, I don't, don't even get me started. Well, don't get me started. Just don't get me started. I don't even know what to do. Like, I don't know if it's a good time to buy a house. I don't know where to buy a house. Like, but part of me really does want to have just more space and like have a house where I can put all of my gadgets and gizmos aplenty, you know? What did you do for your birthday? Um, I didn't do anything. We just, we stayed here. That was my, my request. So... We were over here, Jarvis's sister was over, and I ordered from my favorite uh, food place in Chicago. So if you guys live here, you got to order this place called, Gar it's called Garib Nawaz. It is, I think that's what it's called. I don't know if that's the right pronun pronunciation, but um, it's so good. It's Indian food. I get the chana masala. It's so good. It's my, I've gotten it like every day. For like two weeks. I'm not kidding. Are you going to start streaming on Twitch? Yeah, I am. I don't know, but this is kind of going well, so. But I'll, I'll put this in the chat again. But, uh, will you do a video on veganism or favorite vegan recipes? Um. What are your favorite vegan recipes? Um. 
I don't know. Like, I just feel like people are still weird about veganism in a way that it's like, I don't ever want people to think that I, th I that they must go vegan or I think that they have to go vegan. You know what I mean? But, um, wait, why is Boo in here? Uh, move to Crystal Lake so we can hang? Okay. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, yeah, so Chicago, I don't know, Chicago's just getting kind of crazy too. It's like, you know, to have like even a two bedroom is like so expensive. Um, Jarvis, can you come get Boo again? Because he's like actually driving me nutty. And he's only been in here for three seconds. Boo. Cats, what can you... Can't live with them? Can't live without them. <laughs> I love Blaze Pizza. Oh my god, the best pizza ever. At what point did you decide to be vegan? Um, I went vegan... Jarvis and I actually went vegan together. And I think that was in 2016. I think it was like October 2016. I would sell my soul for a bigger kitchen. I love my apartment, but the kitchen is my worst... Same. Same. I have to, I have so many kitchen gadgets, and um, it's just. Ugh. Are you plant based for diet or an ethical vegan? Um, you know, I'm kind of. <laughs> I would say that I'm more like ethical, you know, and like I saw a, a documentary called how how or what was it the greatest speech you'll ever hear by gary urofsky and it's pretty intense and it's very graphic but i feel like once i made the connection that i didn't want animals to be you know like i just didn't want to contribute to like their suffering you know what i mean like it, it just made me I, I cried and like i was vegetarian originally and then i saw like a dairy cow like something really graphic happening to a dairy cow in that video and i just i couldn't do it i was like I can't but Jarvis like for example he's just he's like a he just does it because I do it you know um so yeah try Boston area where you need five plus bedrooms dude Boston is crazy expensive crazy expensive I forgot about the cat stealer yeah that girl's moving to Mexico um that doc is what turned me vegan too yeah it's really graphic though so like you know you got to be ready to watch it and um it is what it is i just don't want to tell people because i'm not perfect either you know what i mean like i try i just try my best and if you try your best that's all i can really say you know what i mean like you know if you have even if you buy like you still buy leather like i'm not gonna be i'm not like one of those people it's like you know you're you're doing you're doing something you know you're doing something that it's so that's that's what's good move to texas dude i feel like everybody's moving to texas but i honestly could see myself in texas jarvis just goes with the flow he says okay <laughs> stay in illinois queen would you guys let me ask you something really quick would you guys be upset if i moved out of chicago like this is something i think about a lot it's not like it, i don't i don't know that it would influence my decision i'm just kind of curious um you know what you guys would what you guys say about that yeah i'm not a pushy vegan it's not it's not helpful to be like that nobody's gonna go vegan because you're like harassing them you know what i mean it's just like ugh, would you rather live in the city or the suburbs i don't know i think for right now i would probably want to i don't know please move to texas go girl no yeah i don't think you guys care where i live i don't think that like I'm somebody where like I sometimes I watch people like if I can be honest I'll watch people just because they live somewhere like I watch a lot of New York people because they live in New York and I want to see clips of New York so that's why I asked that but I don't think people watch me because I live in Chicago <laughs> you know what I mean nope new places for you to explore yeah that's what I thought too moved to NYC I feel like I want to but it's so expensive and I don't know if I trust myself because I go through a lot of, I experience a lot of, you know, I just feel like I, I don't know. I, I, I don't trust myself to be consistent. And I feel like in New York, you have to be consistent. You know what I mean? Like you have to be, you can't be, um, 
like somebody who goes goes like I like I take breaks a lot because I don't know what's gonna happen like I, I don't know like sometimes I don't handle my, my like personal issues that well and you really can't do that when things are so expensive you know like you got to keep working and I don't really know if I like that I lived in Texas a couple years ago and I didn't like it if you aren't from here you aren't treated the same ooh really yeah I get seasonal depression for sure love seeing clips of Chicago but I love wherever you are Here's the thing about Chicago. <laughs> I've tried to make it work so much. Like, I try to do, like, um, I try to do videos where I'm like, yeah, like, sh shop with me in Chicago, and they just don't bang. Like, they just don't bang the way that I, I hoped they would, you know? I'm from Miami now, living in Wisconsin. I've never heard that before. Mostly people probably move from Wisconsin to Miami. Move to AZ near Grams. Yeah, she actually lives in a great place. Honestly. I grew up an hour and a half north of NYC. I miss it so much. I love it. There's something about NYC that I just, I love. I love it. It's, it's just the best city in the world. The energy is so amazing. You can do better hauls in the burbs. I agree. Because I could do Dollar Tree. Like, you guys don't understand the stress that I feel not living by a Dollar Tree. It's painful. <laughs> You need to do, you have to do a meetup in Chicago. Oh my God, yeah. That might be a little dicey. <laughs> I am near my family. That is good. I don't like the Chicago stuff you do. Gee, all right. Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> um, pet peeve, people who have to one-up everything you say. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Rhode Island is great. You guys are from all over. Texas is great, but say goodbye to your winter coats. That's a great point. Great point. Honestly, great point. Because I love jackets more than anything. I have like a birthday haul I need to do, and I have so many jackets. It's like sick. People are probably going to get beat. Like, uh. That's a problem. Come to Minnesota. No sales tax on clothes. Have you been vaccinated? No, I haven't. I can't. Everything is taken in Chicago. Literally. Um, and I was going to get one at my ob guy, and of course they never called me back. Those bastards. Um, and it was the J&J &J one. <laughs> uh, I recently discovered there's an overnight train that goes directly from Orlando to NYC for cheap. Whoa. Colorado, Wisconsin, love from Cali, come to Florida, Seattle sucks, don't move here. <laughs> okay, comment if you live in a state that I should not move to, comment down below. If you absolutely hate where you live, comment where you're from. <laughs> Only negativity. Is there supposed to be snow in Chicago tomorrow? I certainly hope not, but I will check. I wouldn't be surprised. Yep, there is. 30% chance. Sweet. Hello from the Netherlands. Love from Italy. Dollar Tree Queen. Kylie, hello. <laughs> um, let me see. Pens Ohio, Pennsylvania. Texas is the worst. Really? Louisiana. Colorado effing sucks. Don't move here. <laughs> Don't move to Florida. Don't move to Hawaii. Come on. Now I know you're lying. Be honest. Only honest people in this chat. If you're not honest, you can still be here, but... Love hate with Indiana, but mostly hate. Lots of Indiana, lots of Florida. We got one Virginia... Oh, we moved to Virginia. Georgia, stay away. Hate it here. I The only, the only part of Georgia that I like is Bucktown. I love Colorado. Not a fan of most of the people. <laughs> Zam. Iowa... I've been to Iowa. It's cloudy with a chance of meatballs there, I'll tell you what. It's sketchy. Um, don't move to Florida. It's horrible here. Dude, there's like an influx of people going down there. Uh, love hearing Jarvis laugh. I don't know what he's laughing about. I have no idea. I'm serious about Hawaii? Come on! That was first on my list. You could probably pop right back home. Kentucky ain't it? Come on! That was next on my list. Um, just moved to Mexico. Oh. <laughs> On it. 
Is Cuckoo expensive? Yeah. I could see that, yeah. I don't know. I kind of want to move somewhere where it's just affordable, but, um, but also the best place ever to live. So it's like, is that really so much to ask for? It doesn't seem like it should be, but it is for some reason. I live here in Oklahoma, kind of boring. Mm. I liked living in Indiana. I think I like Indiana. I'm kind of surprised at all you people saying you don't like it. Um, my childhood friend actually went to San Luis Obispo. She went to Cal Poly. And she she loved it. Actually. And Jarvis's best friend went to Cal Poly too. That's crazy. Small world, eh? My dad keeps joking about moving to Mexico. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going to move. I got to figure out where I'm going to move. And then just force Jarvis to get a job there. So I can be there. Move to Charlotte. So clean and new. Ooh. Well, I'll figure it out. You know what I mean? Where are you going to want to move when Jarvis is going to job hunt? That's a problem. I don't know. Do you guys ever feel like you just, you can't picture yourself anywhere? Like, I can't picture myself anywhere. I can't picture myself anywhere. I can't even picture myself anywhere in the state of Illinois. That's the problem. It's just like, I feel so dysphoric. Why are you wanting to move? Um, I think we're just going to move because I, I personally, I like to move. I know that's like not really normal, but I like to move around. You know what I mean? Like, I love getting a new apartment, that, that fresh new apartment feel or that fresh new house, whatever. It's so great. Um, the problem is there's not really a lot to do in Chicago either. So crazy. Jarvis can be a beach body coach and you can go anywhere with that job. Oh god. That would be my night that would literally be my living nightmare, I'm not kidding. Because I then he would like force me to do workouts. Do you ever see like those beach body girls? I can't even imagine. You know how they like force their significant others to like do workouts? It's like Uh I could never. I just don't like to work out. I don't know what happened to me. Because I used to be a, such a big worker outer, you know? You picked my birthday as your first stream. Happy birthday, Kelly. Appreciate you. Where's your family located? They're in the suburbs. They're like an hour away from me. Why move at all? You can't beat being near family. Yeah. I mean, I guess I would just move closer to my family. But my family wants to move too. Taxes in Illinois are, are nutty. Um, do you plan on doing any more story time videos? My favorite is Jarvis's evil friend on his birthday. That story time was bananas. That is still the worst day of my life. Not joking. Joining Beachbody's grounds for divorce. I have to agree with that. Um, I don't know. I got, I got to think of if I have any more story times. I did just tell my guy no one today. So hopefully you guys, um, appreciated that story time. I told a couple story times today. My brother-in-law tries to act like Beachbody keeps him in such great shape since his wife is a boss babe. Ugh, oh, you hate to see it. You, see, you hate to see it simply happen to innocent men in relationships with MLM boss babes. Um, I'm a sophomore at DePaul. I'm in the South Loop. Girl, a, a Chicago meetup would be so fun. Oh my god. Um, I feel like I'd be scared. Like, I, you know how I was like scared to go live today too. I'm like, I don't know what's gonna happen. Are they going to burn me at the stake once I get on here? Who knows? So far, so good, though. You should look at your astro cartography chart. It shows where you're, you would flourish the most on Earth. Dude, you know what that kind of reminds me of? I'm not really into, like, astrology or anything, but I've been kind of into, like, looking into the, um, like, Ayurveda stuff. And I'm 100%. You guys should take, a like, a dosha quiz. Like, look up, like, free dosha quiz and, and take it. Because it tells you what you should be eating to kind of like control your dosha. So like for me, I'm a, um, I'm like a hundred, almost like a hundred percent a pita. It's a P-I-T-T-A, I think. Uh, dosha. If you guys ever looked into Ayurveda. My boss is a Beachbody coach and I really want to report her to HR. Look, I'm not saying, I'm not doing, I'm not saying you shouldn't. <laughs> I'm kidding. Only if she tries to sell it to you. Um. How, how you managed to successfully drive home that night was mind-blowing. Uh, yeah. You seem like you were popular in high school. No. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, I wish I was. And I, I really wish I was. I can, I'll tell you a story time. You want to hear a story time of, the, of something I've never forgot? Okay? This just goes to show you. Because, like, uh, beauty YouTube drama, I kind of keep up with it. 
like on H3H3. H3. But um, this is a story from my high school. And it this is like, I'll never forget this moment. And I never forgot this kid. And I'm one of those people that like does consider revenge to be a hobby. Like thinking about how I would get revenge. I'm not saying that I ever act on it. But <laughs> there was a guy in high school like this just tells you everything I need to know that you need to know about my high school experience I really struggled with like having friends like I I couldn't really I don't know like I couldn't make friends that easily it was really hard for me to I came over from like a middle school that nobody else came over from to a high school that a lot of people fed into and they all like came from that middle school so everybody already had friends I didn't have friends so, you know, it was difficult for me to, am I a foot soldier? No. <laughs> I mean, I, I, lo I love like frenemies and stuff, but I'm not, I don't like pay to be a member. But anyway, so yeah, it was just hard for me to make friends. Like I used to like before school, like freshman year, I would like go in the bathroom and just pretend like I was putting, you know, like fixing my makeup or like, you know, just, I would just sit in the bathroom because I, I had nobody to talk to in the hallway and I had nowhere to like stand. You know what I mean? It was so sad. It was, like, actually sad. So, is anyone listening to the story, or are we just talking about H3? <laughs> but, anyway, so, okay, you get it. You get the picture. It was hard for me. So, I had one friend in high school who was, like, the life of the party girl, and she was, like, on the soccer team with me. But she was, like, probably, she was, like, really popular. In my perception, she was. So, um, anyway... Foot soldiers. Yeah. So anyway, so she would get me invited to places. Like she befriended me. I think she felt bad or whatever. But she would get me invited to places, and she had like already a friend group and stuff like that. So um, yeah. So she, so she like I would go and stand with her in the hallway, and there'd always be like a big group of people, and like she had like a big you know guys really liked her too. So she we would just all stand together or whatever, and. Um, one day I walked over to this group of people that were, we were all standing there and like I walked up to them and I never said anything though. Like I was that person. I was just like, I'm just going to stand with these people until the, the bell rings or I have to go to class. But you know, in high school, you know how it is. Like things are just much more superficial than they are anywhere else. But so I walk up. And they're all kind of standing there. It was kind of awkward. And I was the last one there. And then this kid, Zach. That's all I'll say. Zach. I have not forgot you. He goes, um, what, are you do what are you even doing over here? Nobody here likes you anyway. And I, I literally felt my soul leave my body. I'm not kidding. I felt my soul leave my body. And I was so, am I still friends with her? Um, yeah, kind of. Like, on social media, I'm still friends with her. She's, she's, like, doing her own thing. I'm not really friends with, like, anybody from high school. Like, I'm not, like, I don't keep up with them, but I'm still friendly, if you know what I mean. Like, I'll like their photos and stuff. I don't know if that makes me, like, fake or whatever, but... <laughs> it was a fever dream. Honestly, yeah, fucking Zach. Honestly, it's time to cancel Zach right now. You know, the thing about cancel culture is, like... Yeah, I kind of hate it, but it's like there's also always one person that I would definitely be okay with canceling. And Zach is probably number one on that list. I'm not joking. But it's like, who says that to somebody? So it's like stuff like that you never forget your whole life. You like think about it. And you're just like, God, that was the meanest thing that somebody said to me besides my guy now just a couple weeks ago. But um, yeah, he turned out to be like the biggest freaking I don't even want to say but you know I don't know it's just like people had people had their own issues back then so Zach you're done for cancel Zach yeah appreciate it guys we need the foot soldiers to take Zach down <laughs> what did I say to him I don't even remember what I said I think I honestly was just in shock like I, I honestly was in shock I think somebody did something to kind of like neutralize the situation like they try to make a joke or something but it was it was to this day like the 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 nastiest thing somebody said to me. But like that that's what I'm talking about where I just didn't there was never somebody I gelled with in high school and I wasn't like 
I wasn't like untouchable, you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you think Rachel Hollis would be canceled? I think she kind of has been. And it's not even necessarily by like anti MLM people. I think it's just like, you know, she's just made so many mistakes like that are just like, and she's just, she keeps, instead of like just being honest, it's like she just keeps blaming it on her team. It's so bizarre. Avoid Zach's and Kyle's. Traps Zach's at. I don't even know if he has a social media, to be honest. Hello from Belgium. Hello. Zach, we will find you. We are on it, Kylie. Tank his wiki feet. <laughs> Found you on YouTube. Recommended videos. Fell down a five day rabbit hole. Watched all your videos. Love you, girl. I'm born in Ch Ray, Chicago, and work in the loop. Oh my God. Love that. Thank you, Cassie. I appreciate that. His wife is probably in an MLM. Okay, let's be honest. Zach don't have a wife. Let's be honest. Zach doesn't have a wife. He's not finding a wife anytime soon with that attitude. And if he does get one, I may or may not send an anonymous message to her. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I send one like the Jersey Shore message. I'm like, Ronnie made out with two girls at Karma. Just kidding. Zach made out with two girls at Karma. Anyway. Um, I love having a Chicago YouTuber. Dude, Chicago's good, but it's also not that great. You know what I mean? <laughs> What did your gyno say? I told the story earlier about how she called me fat. Indirectly, but it happened. <laughs> it, it definitely happened. Zach sounds like he's the absolute worst. Honestly, he was. But there was a lot of guys in like that in high school. Like, didn't it seem like every guy was kind of like that? Like, they were just mean for no reason. You know what I mean? Find Zach's wife and let her know what's up. Oh, I will. Don't worry. I got it locked down. <laughs> Oh, I got it on lock. We will find Zach's wife. Um, let's hear the ob guy story from today. Oh, I told that. I'll, I'll try to post this live afterwards, and it'll be up, but it was so rude. Anyone named Zach is a menace to society? I don't know. I don't really know if there's if I've ever met a Zach that I did like, so honestly, you might be right about that. Gotta go eat Taco Bell. Fun talking with y'all. See you later. Enjoy that Taco Bell. Dude, Taco Bell's really been kind of getting on my nerves, to be honest with you. Like, they've been getting on my last nerve. When they pulled that PR stunt with the, um, what's it called? Where they, they took, like, everything off the menu. What was that about? What was that about? He probably liked you back then. Well, who could resist, really? I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I was kind of creepy back then. <laughs> I just, like, wasn't. Dude, I, do you ever think about, like, how you wish you could go back in high school and just be like, if I had my hair extensions, my fake nails, my fake eyelashes, my makeup skills, my fashion skills, my just, like, any amount of money, like, even $10 would have been good. <laughs> if you could just go back to high school with those things, that's all I want to do. That's all I want to do. How is there a way? Is there a loophole in the system where I can go back to high school? Let me know. When Taco Bell got rid of the grilled cheese burrito, it was my villain or origin story. Honestly, we should get Taco Bell for dinner. No, we're not. No. Uh, no, 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 no. Dude, I get. What do you guys get when you go to Taco Bell? Taco Bell is already old. Like, I don't really. I don't even think about Taco Bell as much as I. I used to eat it a lot. Like, when I, it's a suburb food for sure. Like, there's, like, city foods, if you've ever lived in the city, and then the, um, if you ever lived in the city and then the suburbs, you know that there's, like, certain foods that you pretty much only eat. Like, I do not eat Chipotle now that I live in the city, but when I lived in the suburbs, I pretty much ate Chipotle every single day. Can you talk about how you and Jarvis met? Um, I want to go back to freshman year in college with those things. Honestly, Sam... Freshman year in college was, that was, that, I, uh, I have, I'm going to do the same thing that Khloe Kardashian did, getting that photo of her off the internet, to all the photos that were taken to me from the year 2013 to 2015. Um, how did we and Jarvis meet? We met, um, oh, we met through a friend, like, I had this friend that went to Iowa with me, and she went to the same high school as him, coincidentally, and she was, like, one of those friends that just, like, all of her friends became each other's friends, and, like, she was good at, like, getting people, like, connecting people, 
So she put us, like, in a group chat, and then he just, like, kind of wouldn't stop messaging me, so then. He thought I was cute or something. I don't know. It's creepy. Met through friends. It's a boring story. Come on! You better watch it. <laughs> Cheesy bean and rice burrito, soft potato, soft taco. I mean, the spicy potato soft taco is what I get. I told that story, I think, recently, but I get the spicy potato soft taco with just lettuce. Yeah. Talk about serial killer order right there. Does it feel be different being married now? Yes, it does. I definitely feel like married jokes are much funnier now. <laughs> I like that story time where, where a famous football player hit you up on IG. Oh, yeah. That guy turned out to be a really big creep. He was doing it to a lot of people. I made that video, and about four or five other girls said that, the, that he ended up messaging them also. And this one girl actually had, like, a really crazy story where he was messaging her, like, a lot, a lot. <laughs> it was crazy. <laughs> Better than meeting through Bumble? Hey, man. I don't know, you guys, if you guys are single right now, I don't know what you guys are doing to, to date, like, to find love. I mean, are you going on game shows? Are you, like, are you finding people on TikTok? Like, how are you dating these days? I don't even want to know, but I do want to know. Um, fresco, and they will sub. Oh, really? If you ask for anything on the Taco Bell menu and say fresco, they will sub all dairy for pico de gallo. No kidding. The Ford Taurus story time was so good, dude. The Ford Taurus, my Ford Taurus, I had a 2005 Ford Taurus, and it was the best car I ever had. Not joking. It's actually the only car I ever had. So if you were asking me if I was popular in high school, no. It was because of my Ford Taurus. Um, what's it like being the only funny YouTuber? Um, yee. No comment. I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I guess... Yeah, who is funny on YouTube? I don't even know. I met my fiancé on Tinder. Hey, man, gotta do what you gotta do. Met my boyfriend through Hinge. Yeah, see, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how else you would meet people. So, you know, it's like, especially in the pandy. How the hell are you gonna meet people? I have a YouTube video list called Kylie's Story is the best. <laughs> Rest in peace to the Ford Taurus. Yeah, my brother fucking drove it in the ground. He's the worst driver ever. My brother is the worst driver ever. Your Why I Quit Savora video popped up on my recommended again the other day. What do you think about that video now? Honestly, I think about that video a lot because back then I was so upset by that situation and what had happened to me, like, back when it happened, like, when I quit. Like, there were so many things that happened to make me quit. And, like, I just see that video as, like, I, had, I didn't know what else to do but make a video. I mean, obviously I could have not made a video, but I wasn't like trying to get famous from it, but I think I was just genuinely stressed out and like didn't know what to do. And I think I had seen other videos too of people just like, you know, talking about um, them quitting and I wanted to share mine. And so I stand by it, man. Do you like Jaclyn Hill? I honestly love Jaclyn Hill. I love Jaclyn Hill. And I know she's controversial. I know that she's, I know she is what it, it is what it is, but I love Jaclyn Hill. I love everything she recommends. Every time she recommends something to me, I love, I genuinely love it. And I feel like she's a genuinely nice person. And I feel like of all the people on the internet, she gets some of the most drama. Like, you know, and yeah, like some things have been kind of bad, but I just, I don't feel like she's a bad person. Like, I really don't. Like, I, you know, sometimes you can tell, but I just don't feel like she is. I love her. I love her personality. I, I just, I like her. I don't know. Um, there was another thing, too, that I was going to say. I just bought the bowls. She, she recommended these pasta bowls from her Amazon favorites video, and I ordered them, and... Uh, they're just, they're, they're like the best bowls I ever bought. And everything she recommends, it's like that. Why is she so problematic? I think it's just because she's had, like, issues with, you know, makeup collabs. I think people honestly get mad when people are making money. She recommended good bowls. Yeah, Jarvis loves them. Her cooking videos are amazing. I think they're amazing, too. It's, like, just great content. Her boyfriend, you should watch her boyfriend, too. It's, his channel is, like, it makes me smile. 
Do you like HRH? I've never heard of her. No super chat option. Sorry. I don't know how to get it on you guys. Um, I don't know how to get it on. I'll, I'll try to get it on next stream. I don't know if I ever do another one, but, um, she's like Oprah. Everything she turns to gold. It is. Yeah. I think, you know what I kind of like about people? Like there's something kind of cathartic about watching somebody who goes through like hell and still comes back and, and makes videos or, you know, I think maybe it hits home more when you're a, also a YouTuber. Like, just to see people go through so much turmoil on the internet and they still um, make videos. And I kind of respect that about people. You know what I mean? Like, they just, they, they won't quit. I don't know. Do you like Trisha? I do like Trisha Paytas. I do. <laughs> I like her. I, just, I always liked her. I think that she's just, you know... Do you watch Smoky Glow? I haven't watched her before. I know a lot of people like her. She's like up and coming, right? I bought Jaclyn Hill's eyeshadow palette. It's super amazing. I had a photo shoot and I used her makeup. I used her eyeshadow palette for my wedding. That's how much I love it. It's it's just she's such a sham. Come on. I like I like her. Um I bought Jaclyn Hill's eyeshadow palette, yeah. I uh I just I think it's one of the best palettes ever made. No not Trisha. Uh oh, she's controversial. She's controversial. She is, yeah, she is who she is. She is who she is for sure. I mean, sometimes she's got some bad takes on stuff, but don't we all? You know, I can never do YouTube. The spotlight would stress me out too much. Sometimes it it does stress me out too a lot too, and I'm not even like a big YouTuber at all. <laughs> Smoky girl likes you. Oh, that's cool. Thank God somebody does. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> thank god too much pressure to be 100% ethical with who you watch yeah I don't know man it's like I don't know it's like I think people just put if you like to watch somebody just watch them who cares you know um uh HRH is fun to watch a mess I don't know who that is I'm gonna have to look her up who do you guys like? Do you, you guys probably watch like a lot of the. You guys probably watch like H3. I feel like people aren't posting a lot of videos. I mean, I'm one of them. I'm not really posting as much as I should be. But I think I got burnt out a little bit. You know what I mean? But. Um, I feel like people aren't posting as much. I think it's like on TikTok. Will you ever get Boo a spouse? Um. I don't know if I will. I might get him a brother or a sister. What's for dinner? Um, hmm. What's for dinner? I have no idea. Just whatever I scrounge up. Reese's Pops, maybe? That sounds good. When are you going to show your wedding video? I'm going to show that. Um, I don't know. I got to I gotta edit that really. I need to edit that. I found you through As Told by Kenya. Dude, she's been with it. She's been with me for a long time. She's one of my pals. I love her. I love her. Pressure, who cares what others say, say and think? Live your own life. Yeah, that's... I mean, it's, I think it's easier said than done. But I think what's, what's helped me is like, you know... Will I ever get a dog? I don't think so. I just don't, I'm not really a dog person. Do you recommend getting lip filler? I'm nervous. I don't know. I never got it before. I think that people generally, you know, I don't know if it's controversial, but I think people generally look better with like their natural. Well, not all the time. Eh, not all the time. I don't know. Just do what you want to do. <laughs> don't listen to me. What's your horoscope? I'm an Aries. Um, what? I would make spaghetti, but I made spaghetti last night. It was the worst spaghetti I ever made in my entire life. I'm not joking. Literally, you can ask Jarvis. It is the, it was the worst. What's it like to be a married woman? Man, you guys are, you keep asking that question. I, I, I'll say it again because it's been a while since I, um, I answered that question. But honestly, it does feel different to me in a really good way because it feels like I'm really, you know, I really have like a team member now. And like I said, it's not like, um, it's not like I 
didn't have a team member before, but it just like, you know, combining everything and I don't know, I just love it. It feels like a weight's been lifted for some reason. How do you mess up spaghetti? Look, I don't even know, but it happened yesterday. I hope your family dog isn't watching this. Yeah, I just don't like to take dogs out. Like, you know, like have to let them out all the time. Like, I like that Boo just goes in his little, it was like eating Play-Doh. Okay, watch your mouth, Jaros. Watch your mouth. Best live ever. Oh yeah. <laughs> do you not use Rouse? I used Rouse, but like it was the noodles that I messed up. Cause it was, um, that shit is so good. Rouse, yeah, it's, Rouse is the best. Um. It's because I had, I was making angel hair noodles, you know those? And then, I don't know if I overcooked them or what. It was so bad. Did Jarvis cry on your wedding day? Okay, I'll let him answer that question. <laughs> well, I can answer it too. Well, I'll, I'll let him answer it. How extra is that phone holder behind you? <laughs> you guys, if you've been thinking about getting one, I'm here to tell you get a phone holder for the side of your bed because you just sit there and you just lay there at night and you don't have to hold it up anymore and like my arms would literally go numb because I was holding things up like this so I just sit there I'm like life couldn't be better you know what I mean you constantly clean the litter box I actually have a one of those $500 litter robots which is the best investment I ever made and it it automatically cleans his litter box How's Boo feeling about the nuptials? You don't have to answer. Um, I think he's pretty, he's, I think he's doing okay with it, but I'll have to ask him again in 30 days. Jarvis says he doesn't remember if he cried. Okay, I'm just gonna get, we need to get really honest. He, he cried harder than I've ever seen another person cry. Ever. Ever in my life, I have never seen somebody cry that hard. I've never seen him, first of all, cry. Like, I don't know if I've ever seen him cry. Maybe I've seen him like two or three times. He cried harder than anybody has ever cried in their life. And I was, I couldn't believe it. Like, I'll just, I mean, I was going to save it for the video, but I'll just tell you guys on here. But, um... I, so like, okay, so we did it in our apartment. So like, I came in here, we, it was funny because we're all talking, you know, we're talk like, it was, it was my mom, my dad, I didn't have my siblings there, because there's just too many of them. But then I had, it was his sister, his mom, and his dad, and his dad was our officiant. And um, so I was in here. And of course, you guys know where we did it, which we did it right by our window. But I, we were laughing and joking, and then I'm like, all right, I'm going to go change. Mom, put the song on, you know, put the song on, and I'll come, I'll come walking out, okay? Yeah, Jarvis, own up to it, please. Yeah, thank you. So I come in here, I get my dress on, and my dad is standing. My dad was going to walk me, like, the two feet that it, I had to walk, but he's standing right in the bathroom because our apartment's so freaking small, and... I'm, I'm in my dress. I come out. My dad, he turns he turns the corner. I look in my dad's eyes. My dad is already crying. And I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. So then I start crying. And this is before I even turn the corner to see where Jarvis is. Okay. And the music, like the music, I picked the song that I picked, by the way, because this is a big, this was a major stress for me was what song am I going to pick? Um, so I will tell you the song I picked to walk down the aisle was, uh, turning page by sleeping at last. So that's the song. So the song is like so emotional. So I'm walking and I'm, I'm crying. My dad's crying and I walk around and I can't see Jarvis's face. So I'm just thinking like, oh, he's not looking at me. Like I've never heard of a groom who doesn't look at his bride when she's walking down the thing like down the aisle or whatever so I finally get over to him and he's s literally sobbing he's already sobbing he can't even look at me and I'm like uh okay and I'm trying to get him to look at me I'm crying too like I am crying like but I was really holding it back and I'm used to like having to hold it back because I always cry like I cry almost every day you know what I mean I was sobbing too yeah somebody to set up I didn't think I would cry on my wedding day. As soon as I turned the corner, I broke down sobbing. That's me. 
that was me. I, I didn't think I was going to cry. And I really, I knew, I was like, I know Jarvis isn't going to cry. I knew it. I was like, I know he's not going to do it. So then I see him and, you know, we're standing there and I'm trying, I'm crying, but I'm trying to get my makeup. So I'm like, you know, I'm going like this. <laughs> and then, so I, I can't get him to look at me. I'm like, Jarvis, like, I'm, I'm trying to get him to make eye contact with me. He won't. And then he kind of did. And then it started again. Like he couldn't stop, um... He couldn't stop crying. The song that I picked was called Turning Page by Sleeping at Last. It's kind of a TikTok song, but. Um, so anyway, the whole time I'm thinking to myself, like, uh, is he like second guessing this or something? Like, I don't know what's going on. I think he's second guessing it or something. <laughs> so I was just like so confused. And, you know, then we did like the vows and, and he could barely make it through the vows. Like, I'm sorry, I'm blowing him up right now, but oh well. And my dad is sobbing, crying. My dad is like, my dad is the biggest, he's like, he gets really emotional about like big life events. He saw, my dad sobbed crying for a whole entire day. When he dropped me off at college, he dropped me off, started crying. And because my mom and my dad were in separate cars, he cried all the way home, got home, went upstairs, looked at my empty room and then my mom said he left for like three hours and he was like, he went somewhere to go cry. <laughs> it's kind of funny now, but anyway. So anyway, after we get married, like after the ceremony, you know, we're like, woohoo, we're married. So we both like walk away together into our kitchen. Like, it's kind of funny because our apartment's so small, but we walk into our kitchen, right? And we're looking at each other. And this is the first time that we've like, you know, been able to see each other and like talk to each other you know not a, like it's just us because everybody else is still back in the living room and he's sobbing crying and and he just he just said that he was you know some one please tell me why my favorite youtubers never notice my comments i saw your comment hatra <laughs> um i don't know if you're your favorite but i saw your comment uh yeah so anyway my he was just like I, he was speechless he just goes i've never been speechless because i've been so happy so I was like, oh, thank God. So that was, it was really sweet. You guys, our wedding, you know, if you're kind of worried, um, if you're kind of, if you're kind of like undecided about if I should have a big wedding or a small wedding, I just recommend doing a small one. Um, yeah, I can repost a live. I just recommend doing a small one just because it's, I don't know. I think I would have regretted it if I had a big one because I think a small one allows you to be more, um, more I don't know like emotional or intimate or whatever so um anyway so then my dad we, we went to a restaurant afterwards so we went to Maggiano's and my dad gave a speech there and my dad's speech I'm just I'm like exposing everybody but my dad could not get through the speech my dad gave amazing speech and um it was so, it was just so great and it was so sweet, but he could not get through it. And it, we were in a room full of our entire family. It wasn't that many people. It was like maybe 20, but, and we're all like sitting at these really far out tables, but he was like, <laughs> like his, his voice got like so high because you couldn't speak. I don't know. And it, it's just such a positive thing getting married, you know, like everything is just so positive unless you're, you know doing it against your will <laughs> I guess um yeah it is yeah I think it is nice to have it be about the two of you and not sharing it with like thousands yeah I agree yeah so we we cancel our huge wedding and elope no regrets yeah I totally agree yeah it was it was really sweet so yeah did Jarvis cry uh he cried more than anybody <laughs> I was really it was really sweet I had a big petting, 300 people wish it, 300 people? I don't even know 300, I don't know if I've ever known 300 people over the course of my life. That's so funny. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the story of our wedding. It was really, really sweet and I'm, it was just the best day ever. Um, did you do premarital counseling? No. I see a therapist though. So that I, it's pretty much me. I don't know if even Jarvis needs it that much, but 
we've been together for a long time. I, I think probably it's a, probably a good idea to, to do premarital counseling, though. <laughs> Are we ever going to see videos? Yeah, I, I am. I'm going to just, I'm probably just going to post my wedding makeup and that'll, that'll probably be the last thing I post as far as my wedding stuff, you know? You know? So, yeah. By the way, this is my new um, water jug that I uh, drink out of. <laughs> it's from Amazon. It's the best thing I ever bought because I'm like somebody where you have to hold me down to get me to drink water. You know what I mean? Someone said they need a drugstore dupe for Jarvis. <laughs> oh my God. I think a lot of guys end up crying. Even the guys you don't think, I think that a lot of them end up crying. And even if they don't, it's it doesn't mean, I don't know if it means anything, but how long have you guys been together? We've been together for five years. As a divorce lawyer, marriage is enough for me, dog. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Have you and Jarvis ever struggled in a relationship to the point you needed couples uh, counseling? No, we haven't. Um, it's bigger than your head. <laughs> um, the quench the whole team. Yeah, this is what they dump on people. Like it's filled with Gatorade, and they dump it on people. Um, at the end of games. What's your favorite podcast? Uh, I haven't really been listening to a lot of them lately, but I happen to listen to H3H3 the most because they're like, there's so many of them and I just, you know. Yeah, where, where are you? That doesn't look like your place. Yeah, this is my room, but I, maybe it's because my camera's flipped or something. Who knows? Who knows? You need a link to that water jug? I'll link it and I'll do another Amazon favorites video. I got it on Amazon. This is the... I don't know what the brand is. It just says reduce inside. It says reduce. I don't know. It's like the giant beauty blender I had. I need to get another one. I need another one so bad. Do you watch the front of me's podcast? Yeah, I do. Do you watch Below Deck? No, I have. I don't. But some guy from my high school, I think, is was on that show. Do you still listen to the oldies? Yeah, I still listen to '40s music a lot. Except, I found out that a lot of the stuff on the '40s playlist on Pandora is not actually '40s. What brand is your chair? It's from the brand Ohaho. My mom got it for me for Christmas. It's the best gift I ever got. It has a recliner. I love the cloud box cutters you recommended. I used for my online shopping addiction. Me too. I got one right here. Oh wait, no I don't. I don't know where it went. I used to use it. Do you think Tati will come back? Um, I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea. Do you watch any vegan YouTubers? Um... Not really. I uh, I watch the Vegan View, which, well, sometimes I don't. I really don't watch a lot of like. I don't watch like a lot of vegan content, if that's what you're asking. Like, centered around like vegan stuff. I do. I watched um, Hot for Food, a lot. I used to watch that a lot. Do you watch Naked and Afraid? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't know if I ever would be watching Naked and Afraid. Are only for righties hard to use left-handed? Uh-oh. That's not good. What's his name from Below Deck? I think his name was, um, like, Nick Sholly, I think. I don't know. Plans in the future for a honeymoon? I always want to go to New York, and I know that's weird to say, but I always want to go to New York, and I just... Like, do you ever have a place where you just love... Um... You know what I mean? Like, you just love it. And you just, you don't need to go anywhere else. Like, I don't need to, I don't really want to go anywhere else besides, you know, Tati's video about you didn't age well. Oh, well. You live and you learn, right? Um, but mine did. 
Um, the Tati drama was how I found you. Yeah, that was, that was like a crazy time in my life, man. I don't even know what to say. I really don't even like to talk about it. It was just traumatic for me. Cause it, like, can you imagine? At that at that time, I had like, I don't know, like a five. Uh, I think I had like a hundred thousand, and like I just hit a hundred thousand or something. And then um, it was just like, all of a sudden she makes a video about me and like basically accusing me of, I don't know, like accusing me of like, she. I mean, she was getting a lot of hate at that time for a review that she did. And she basically like accused me of being like the sole reason she was getting hate. And then she accused me of being like a money grubber. I don't know. I don't know, it was just, it was not good, but it was like five million, can you imagine five million people coming after you? I like, it's like, you're not really equipped, I don't think anybody's equipped for something like that, you know what I mean? Like, ever in your life, but I definitely, you know, if you can go through that, you can go through a lot more. Did she try to legally bully me? No. She couldn't, what would she do? You know what I mean? Um, alright, yeah, let's just move on. <laughs> we'll move on. It's, it was a lot, though. Um, I still love that Emily palette, the Emily Noel palette, but people are crazy, yeah. Um, yeah, I just don't, I don't know if it, I, yeah. That was, it was a weird situation for sure, but, like, I don't really care, you know what I mean? Uh, how did I find Boo? We got him from the Huntley Animal Shelter. Yeah. In, uh, Huntley, Illinois. We just picked him up. <laughs> <laughs> we picked him up. He was there. His name was Timothy. He had a co he actually had a cold. And um she sent her audience after you though. Yeah, she did. 100%. There's no denying that one. <laughs> she 100% did. It's a, it is what it is. I mean, who cares, right? Like we all move on from our on our with our lives. But it was not it was not cool. I have a zit on my face, changing the subject. Thank you so much. You know what? Let's talk about that zit. How are we going to get rid of that? <laughs> we must talk about this zit. Do you play Animal Crossing? Yeah, I do. I want to do a stream really bad pretty soon. And um, I want to do a tour of my abandoned Animal Crossing town. So we'll have to do that pretty soon on my tour. I'm going to, I might move over to Twitch, but there's, you know, this is working out good too. I'm just not sure like what I want to do. Do MLM people ever harass me? Um, yeah. I think that, you know, like, if we're, we're talking, like, do they ever, like, m message me? I think that, you know, of all the monate people that I've ever made a video on or, like, just put them in a clip, I think, like, almost every single one has threatened to sue me. <laughs> My apology video it was epic. Yeah, I'm the queen of fake apology videos. Um, who do you enjoy watching on YouTube? Um, I really like to watch, like, I watch this one, like, art restoration channel. It's called Bomb Garter Restoration, and it's art, it's this guy, he restores old paintings. It's amazing. I love every minute of it. You have the most clear skin, how? Um, that's a good question. It's because I drink out of this huge, mon huge, humongous water jug. I think it's genetics. You know what I mean? Do you watch Bailey Sarian on YouTube? No, but I see that she does a lot of those, like, um, murder, like, murder and makeup videos. It's pretty cool. It's kind of like, I feel like MLMs, like, anti-MLM is, like, the new murder mystery, kind of, in a way. Does Jarvis work at McDonald's? <laughs> no, he just wears that Mc McDonald's sweatshirt all the time because it's from a Travis Scott collaboration. You know what I mean? Um, <laughs> your hair looks so long. I love it. Thank you. I'm trying to get there. You know what I mean? I'm trying to grow it out so bad. It's so hard. It's so hard to grow your hair out sometimes. Especially when you just bleach it over and over and over. But Olaplex saved my life. Um... Oh, yeah, the, the, I used to watch a lady pack lunches for her kids. I think I stopped watching that because she was starting to do so. There was starting to be drama with that, and I go, look, lady, I'm just here to watch some 
I'm just here to watch some kids' videos. Like, you packing some lunches. Like, keep the drama out of it. You know what I mean? What kind of vacationer are you? Beach, beaches, museums, shows, adventure sports? That's a good question. I would say that I am... I choose New York as my vacation. So, whatever that means. I'm just like... I just love it. I don't know. You know what I mean? Uh, what do you use in your hair, Monate? Hell no. Hell no. I love Olaplex so much, yeah. How do you use Olaplex? I've just got some. I don't know what to do with it. I use the um, step three, which is like a... You leave it on in the shower for like five to ten minutes. And it's a really good like treatment. And I do the sh shampoo and conditioner always do you still wear hair extensions your hair is pretty yeah you know what's funny you know if you guys watch my um video my amazon favorites video i recommended these 60 dollars hair extensions on in that video and i wore these on my wedding like i love them they're so good they're just they're great and they're i just love them do you see the mlm article in the atlantic that used your face in the thumbnail I think I saw that, yeah. There was another article that recently came out, which I gotta do a video on. It was like a... It was like so weird, I don't even know what to say about it. I'll do a video on it. Um... <laughs> you need New York? Yeah, I do. Did people come for you when you did your touch-up? Um, actually not really. I mean, it was a lot of people giving me advice on like, what I should have done differently. A lot of people said I should have started in the back when I was doing my hair. And that's true. Like, I, I should have started in the back instead of starting in the front. But I just copied, like, the tutorial I watched. So I didn't really know any better. But people had good advice for the most part. And that's about it. Most people were happy that I did it, actually. Have I tried the Olaplex 8 yet? No, I haven't tried it. Uh, hold on, I saw an animal quite do you play Animal Crossing? Yes, I do. I'm going to I'm gonna stream that pretty soon. But I mostly play, like, if you guys want to know what games I play, which I'm planning on playing, I play World of Warcraft. I play... Sometimes I used to play RuneScape, but I could get back into it. And then I play... Um, uh, Mario Super Sunshine, or whatever it's called. Super Mario Sunshine, I mean. I play Toontown. Who remembers Toontown? Okay. Who remembers Tune Down? Anybody? Okay, what else? Let's see. Are you still using those Amazon extensions? Yes. Yes. Yeah, look at you all chill. I love this setup. Thank you. I gotta do this more often. This is awesome. It's fun to be live sometimes. Sometimes I get like kind of weird about like, I don't know why. I get like dysphoric about watching old stuff sometimes i just like to i like to know that that person's like right there at the time that they're doing it i don't know i watch a lot of twitch like i, I really haven't been watching youtube as much anymore i met my first boyfriend on runescape yes honestly yes it's just so funny my mom let me email a picture of myself to him i was like 11 and i truly don't know why she let me hey she was just trying to make sure that you weren't catfishing and he wasn't catfishing you. <laughs> RuneScape was the best game ever to play. Who do you like to watch on Twitch? Well, I watch like... I watch like... Um, like World of Warcraft streamers. So I watch like this guy. His name's Asmongold. And I don't know. I don't think you guys would like it at all. <laughs> but I like watch him all the time. <laughs> It's pretty funny. Can't wait to watch your Twitch streams. That'll be a blast. Yeah. I have my whole setup going and everything right now. It's crazy. Like, I, I've been trying to figure it out for the past two weeks. It's been insane. You know what I mean? Yeah, because people are... It, it's going to be a lot of pressure going live because people are so sensitive and you can't edit it. Yeah. I'll probably say some stuff, but... Do I watch Hazel Nutty on Twitch? Yes, I actually do. I love Hazel Nutty. She's like one of my favorite WoW streamers. Um, I really appreciate live streams during the pandemic. Yeah, me too. So are you getting a new gynecologist? A hundred percent. Yes. That's my first thing on my list when I get my new insurance card. Um, I just love Twitch, man. It's just so great. It's so great. 
It's just a great place to be, you know? I'm still live, yeah. I don't know. How long have I been live? I can't see. <laughs> I'm so, like, lost on this. I went to the grocery store, came back. I was so happy we're still alive. You got... Oh, you know what? I want to be on Twitch, like... I would, I would love to do, like, you know, like, a lot of Twitch streams. Like, almost, like, every day. You know what I mean? Because I have the time to do it, like... I 100% have the time. She's Hazel is so pure in her cat. Yeah, she's the best. Have you ever played Stardew Valley? No. I need to... Uh, everybody keeps saying Stardew Valley. Like, of all the games, everybody is saying that. Your anti-MLM videos are my favorite? Yeah. I, uh... I love it. Those are, those are, those like took off. I have no idea. I don't know what, like, is so... I know that they're, they're kind of interesting, but... Um, I mean, they are interesting, but it's just funny how people love them so much. It said streaming started two hours ago. Oh, that's not that bad. You know what I mean? You guys, if you like to watch, like, um, there's a great channel on Twitch that I like to watch, and it's helped me a lot, like, mental health-wise. Um, it's, it's actually a Harvard psychiatrist, and is it's called Healthy Gamer GG. And if you go and you watch that he does like live stream he'll live stream like a therapy session with somebody else so it's just it's awesome i love it it's really cool it's just helped me a lot he's like he's really he's really smart and concise and has really good advice so anyway um will you please make some new merch yeah i gotta make some new merch i might even like pay somebody to to like create some new ones because i really don't have any idea what to do you know what I mean? Yeah. I have no idea. Do you post on TikTok or just watch stuff? I just watch stuff. I just watch it. Yeah, I don't know if I want to be a TikToker just yet. I don't know if that's my that's going to be my lane. You know what I mean? You need to stream more often. It makes me feel like I have friends. Yeah, me too. I have, like, I have legit no friends. So... It's just kind of awesome, you know? It's kind of awesome to have people to talk to. I don't really talk to a lot of people. Like, it's kind of crazy. <laughs> um, does McConnell make you guys laugh? Yes, he does. He just streamed last night. McConnell streamed last night. But, oh my god, I was just about to say something. And now I stay away from her. She's bad news. Who? Who? You could have shirts with Kiki's downline. <laughs> we need a Discord, yeah. I agree, we do need a Discord. I, I, uh... We'll figure it out, though. We will figure it out. You know, if you have any ideas or, like, designs, you can email me. His TikTok influenced you to buy anything recently? I, that's, I have to get off TikTok because I keep buying... I keep buying stuff. That's, like, what's caused me, like... I, I feel, like, out of control with it, though. Like, I think if you have, you know, a buying... Like, I, I think I have actually a shopping problem, to be honest with you. And uh, I think that TikTok is not good for people that have that. Because I can't... Like, I feel very out of control when I go on there. You know what I mean? Um, but... Oh, you know what I was going to say? That was really positive... Did you guys see that Jenna Marbles and um, Julian got engaged? That makes me smile. Like, that really makes me smile. I don't know. I know you guys probably saw that, but that, like, really makes me smile. You need to do a TikTok made me buy video. Dude, I could do a thousand of those videos. Literally a thousand. The bur my birthday party for your mom was so cute. That kind of content would be A plus in the burps. A lot of you guys like that. I mean, the video didn't get like a lot of views, but none of my videos do, so it's it's all good in the hood. But um, it seemed like the people that liked it did like it. But I I guess there's like a new thing that people get mad about, which is um, the new thing that people get mad about is the balloon arch. There was a lot of comments to me that the balloon arch was wasteful. And I was like, um, I've never heard that before. You know what I mean? All us married girls were like, Jenna, dude, do you guys, how do you guys feel about her, man? I, I wish that she would like, 
I don't know. I just hope she's doing good. I hope she's doing good. I feel like, I don't know. How's your health doing? It's doing good, actually. I felt kind of sick the past few weeks, but... <laughs> so maybe it's not been good. <laughs> maybe it's not been good. I don't know. I just kind of go through ups and downs. Like, usually in the winter, like, when it's cold, I get, like, a little bit sicker. But sometimes, like, my throat gets... Balloon arts drama on TikTok, if you know, you know. Yeah, oh, I know. I mean, there's something about balloon arches, man. It, like, makes people go, like, ham, sandy. They go freaking crazy about balloons. Well, it's like, yeah, balloons, I guess, are technically wasteful, but I just don't get, like, what the, like, what's the purpose of it when somebody's doing, like, a birthday party for their mom? It's like, okay, so they're wasteful, okay. Yeah, I miss Jenna, too. I just think, like, I just liked how positive, you know? It was, like, it was always positive. It was, like, not negative. Where's your sweater from? Nasty gal. Um, how's married life? I'm so late to the party. It's good. It's good. It's, like, the best, actually. She's living her life, and I'm happy for her. Yeah, I bet she is. Can you imagine how much stress relief she feels? Just probably, like, with her plants and her dogs and stuff. Yeah, maybe Balloon Arch was the, wasn't the most sustainable, but it's, like, there's so many things in this world. Yeah, it's, like, Balloon Arches are not, yeah, that, I totally agree, Emma. They're not the reason we have pollution. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess, yeah, I guess there are bio. I just didn't, I never thought about it. You know what I mean? I never thought about balloons being wasteful, but I guess I'll have to... <laughs> I gotta check myself, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I'm not making them every day of my life. So true. I think people need to understand, like, just because somebody does, like, you know, one wasteful thing doesn't mean that they're a wasteful person. You know what I mean? And it seems like people are just, like, they get mad and then it's like, oh, you're the most wasteful person ever. I don't know. I missed life five years ago before all the chaos. Dude... I need to highlight that comment. I totally agree. It's just like, it just doesn't feel the same anymore. Like, like, it's just crazy now. It's just crazy, like, what people... I don't know. It's just sad. I mean, there's still good stuff. There's still things to be positive about, but it just feels like things were different. Yeah, five years ago, I don't know. Mom only turns 50 once. Hell yeah, brother. Toontown rewritten, not the same, but it's still fun. Um, what is this? I'm lit. This is great. <laughs> yeah, we are We are all trying to do our best. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I just don't tell any, everybody, I don't tell anybody what to do. Um, everyone's mad about something all the time. Yeah, that, I think that's what the problem is. But, you know, how, you know how it is. Have any of the MLM Huns attacked you on Instagram again? No, I think they kind of, I think they're scared now. Maybe not. Who knows? I haven't really checked my Instagram, like, DMs in a while, so. Sometimes my Instagram DMs, like, if I read one that I don't like, it'll ruin my day. So I try to, like, stay out of there. <laughs> Life ain't hitting like it used to. That's why I, I get really, really weird. Like, I get creepy weird about just getting nostalgic about time periods in my life when it's just, like, I don't know. I just... I get nostalgic about it. Like, I'm just like, oh, I want to go back to the days. Like, I want to go back to, like, the t you know that time period when, like, the hills were on, MySpace was popping, I don't know, like, that, like, emos, kids, like, ruled the world. It was, like, you know, like, scene kids ruled the world. Like, I, to me, that was, like, a great time in, in life. Watching instead of stunning for my law school finals. We got some brainiacs in the chat today, folks. Um, I feel like I had to start following more positive people on social media because everyone is so negative. I totally agree. It's good to edit it down. You know what I mean? Because we have control over it. She's probably so much happier not having to do it, deal with it anymore. I Yeah, 100%. Once the pandemic is over, maybe you and Jarvis are vaccinated if you choose to. What is the first thing you want to do? That's a good question. First thing I probably want to do is probably go to New York. I'm headed there. Big city dreams. What we're made of. 
Whitney Ports the Hills will make you feel very nostalgic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Totally. I'm still seeing Emo Never Died, dude. I... I loved everything about those kids. I loved everything about those kids, I swear. There's a guy on YouTube who I, I can't remember his name. I think his name is the Cozy Representative. He's a super small YouTuber, okay? Super small. And he does, like, in-depth deep dives on, like, the scene bands that were really big back in the day. Like, he did the most fascinating, huge document, like, not documentary, but deep dive, like, hours long video on the band. Cute. Wait, no, not cute. What was it? Oh, my God. They sang, maybe you guys know. They sang, I think it was Never Shout Never. He did one on Never Shout Never, which was the Big City Dreams song. Yeah, Never Shout Never. Oh my god, it was so crazy. It was so great. Speaking of NYC, what do you think of people leaving NYC and LA? Honestly, I don't really blame them. I don't really blame them. Gotta go have dinner. Bye, Kylie. Bye, Helen. Check your email. I will. <laughs> I will. Um... Local mall, cute is what we aim for. Yeah, it was actually, it was, I loved cute is what we, I still love cute is what we aim for. I still love it. Yes, can we go back? I grew up in the 80s and 90s as a teacher. It's scary for kids now. Kind of is. <laughs> kind of is. Um, I, I want to visit New York for the first time once it's safe. Any recommendations of what to do? Um, my first place that you need to go is you need to go to Washington Square Park and just walk around and just take in the sights. Next thing you need to do is you need to get a New York bagel and you will never ever want to have a regular bagel ever again. Is Red Bamboo and Shy? Is that that's in NYC. And it's the best restaurant ever, but we also love this vegan restaurant called Urban Vegan Kitchen and it's like 2 blocks away from Red Bamboo. It's also like in the kind of like in Greenwich Village. It's amazing. It's off Carmine Street. Um I live in Queens, New York. Sweet. Never Shout Never was the it guy back then. He was. It's a great video. If you if you look up that guy's stuff. Uh, totally random. Do you still watch Leanne Says? Yes, I do. She's having a baby. I'm so happy for her. Because she was having, like, infertility. Like, she had a whole infertility journey. Have you ever been to Disney World? Yeah, I have. You got engaged at Washington Square Park? You lucky, lucky lass. Oh my God, you inspired my boyfriend and I to just bite the bullet and get married. We're getting married in 10 days. Oh my God, congrats. Congrats, congrats, congrats. You're gonna love it. Get Champs Diner at NYC. I love it. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love it. That's like one of my favorite places to eat. Yes, the empanadas are so good. Oh wait, Jarvis just said that. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Jarvis just, I go, I thought somebody else was writing that. The, the, and they have a Belgian waffle at, at Urban Vegan Kitchen. It's literally, there's no reason it needed to go that hard, but it does. Much love from PA. Thank you so much. Thank you for the love, wonderful live stream. About to go to my class right now. See ya. Thank you so much for coming. Appreciate you. What was your favorite moment of your wedding day? All the money. I'm kidding. Um... I think my favorite moment was just coming back from, I think it was in the kitchen when I was looking at him and he was like, it was after we got married and we're just like looking at each other and he was, he, we were both like just so happy. I'm so sad cinnamon snail closed. Oh, I'd never been there. Jarvis just vibing in chat. Yeah. He's like sneaky in here. Like he's just commenting every like once in a while. <laughs> He just asked me if he wants me to if he wants me uh, to order dinner. What should I get for dinner? Any any recommendations, people? I'm gonna go on Grubhub. <laughs> Need to find out what I'm eating. Um, I've... we need to do mukbang streams. Have you ever seen the catfish? Oh, Cash Jordan. He tours NYC. Oh, no, I haven't seen him. I watch, there's another guy I watch called um, Eric Conover. He does a lot of those, too. Can you call in sick for me to work so I can stay and watch the streams? Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, 
You and Vibe and NYC girly. Dude, honestly, I would love to. Didn't you say before you're anti-debt, no credit cards? I'd love to know your personal finance tips. I don't have a credit card personally. And um, I think that I would say I am anti-debt. I don't like debt. <laughs> so I don't know if I'm the best person for finance tips just because I do have a shopping addiction, but I am good at saving money, surprisingly. So um, just I would say just never spend more than you make. And... If you can't afford to buy a place, just rent and, and live it up. You know, like, live within your means, for sure. Like, live well below your means, if you can. You should do Christmas live streams while you rap. Yes! Yes! I'm 100% going to do that. That is such a great video. Like, you guys, there's so many possibilities now that, I, that I'm a full-fledged live streamer. You have no idea how many possibilities we have. We can do live stream cooking. We could do live stream wrapping video. We can do live stream haul video, shopping haul, like all of it. We could do all of it. All of it. I live in Iowa. I can't believe you went to U of I for a bit, dude. That was crazy. That was the craziest two years of my freaking life. I'm not joking. Like it, it, Kiki has friends. <laughs> oh, had friends? Yeah. Um, at one point, probably. Is someone who has, a, who has a credit card, do not get one if you can avoid it. Yeah. What is the reason that people need a credit card these days? I mean, I know, maybe that's a stupid question to ask, but... Um, maybe just to buy, like, a house or something? I don't even know. Do you buy a house on a credit card? <laughs> I, like I said, don't ask me finance questions. Cooking out of the WoW cookbook. Yes! I have that. I actually have that. We need to make mana buns immediately but i would make them vegan so that it would be a nice spin your discord should have amazon links channel dude 100 percent. yes we need to do an online live stream of uh windows like online shopping that would be so epic and then you know be funny would be if i accidentally put my credit card information and my address on there that'd be that would be something that would happen to me yeah for your credit score yeah yeah build credit yeah. I don't, even, I don't even know if I have credit. I'm not kidding. Do not ask me any... Do not ask me finance questions. I do not know. I do not know. I, I'm not literate in that sense. I just keep saving my money. I have no idea what I'm saving for. I have a CC to build my credit score. Pay in full every month. Yeah, that's what you should do for sure. But it's like, you know what? That's so stupid. Like, it's just... I'm not saying you're stupid because you're doing the right thing, but it's like, why do we have to have a credit card? I don't know. I mean, I guess I understand it, but I don't know. I'm, a, I'm really exposing myself as an idiot right now. Um, are you going to get another cat? I want to, but we need to move to a bigger place because I know that you have to have more than one cat box. Hi, made it home in time. What's up? Welcome to the live stream. <laughs> Welcome to the live stream. Kylie Live, that's, this system is stupid. Yeah, that's what I feel. I feel like there's a lot of man-made things that are, it's like, who, who made this? I don't know. You're still alive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Throwback to when Jarvis lost his wallet and Kylie's credit card got compromised in the same week. In the same week. And I think those two were connected, by the way, because he lost his credit card, used mine at the gas station, and then my stuff got stolen. Starting my petition for live stream with Grandma Judy now. Yes. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I want another cat. He keeps saying every day he says I want another cat. But we have to move first because there's just no place to put another cat box. You know what I mean? better to have assets just as savings to be able to liquidate at any time on anything don't worry about credit we're literally the only country in the world who uses it is that true yeah that is kind of scam credit score is such a scam yeah will you turn on the donation with chat donation feature why is it that i don't know how to turn that on would you guys mind if i just looked that up really quick is it called how to turn on super chat sign into youtube Click monetization. Okay, wait a minute. I can do this. Wait, what did it say again? I'm just going to try to figure this out really quick because 
it's um, this is a pressing issue that people have questioned me about. But I don't know if I'm going to be streaming on this one, um, by the way. Okay, wait, 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 wait. YouTube Studio. Hopefully people can't see this. Okay. <laughs> wait. Monetization. Okay, here we go. Wait, how do I get this? What the heck is this? This was not helpful. This article was not helpful. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to figure this out. This is super boring, but... Okay, wait. Sign into YouTube. Left menu, click monetization. I'm so mad. I'm literally so mad. Oh, here it is. Okay, I see. Okay, let me figure this. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm not kidding. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm, I'm doing it. She's typing. She's typing really fast. She's typing like the wind. Is it on? Come on, bro. Okay, I think it... Okay, I think I did it, but I don't know. All right. All right, start donating. I'm just joking. <laughs> I don't know if it's on. I literally cannot tell. I'm not joking. I, I, don't, I don't know how to work on this stuff, but it doesn't matter anyway. So, okay. Um, my debit card got hacked. They spent 12K in Airbnbs. I hope they didn't make you pay all that. This is, that's kind of crazy. Smuckers, oh my God, stop. <laughs> the queen has arrived. <laughs> Where's your comforter from? Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, um, my comforter is from Urban Outfitters. I get so much free stuff from credit cards. Oh, that's true. I know a lot of people do that. Oh, I have to do that before the live stream? Oh, it happened. Somebody said. Kylie is an Australian name. Do you know the story of how you were named after someone famous? Not Jenner. Oh, um, I don't know why my parents did that. They didn't. Kylie, you should try Amazon Live. It's fun. Ooh. How do I do that? Is it just me selling to people? Like, oh my god. Amber, I will never forget you. You were the first donator ever, and you are crowned honorary best friend of the world. Mark! Okay, you guys, you don't actually have to donate. I was just trying to see if it worked, okay? But you guys are paying for my dinner tonight. I'm joking. <laughs> um, what was I talking about before this? Oh, Amazon Live. Is it just like QVC, like me just talking to people? Oh, my God. Thank you guys so much. That is so funny. Did the super chat come through? Yes, it did. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You guys. <laughs> I see Mark. I see you everyone. Mark is my buddy. He's he's always there with me through thick and thin. He's my right hand man. Um. Yeah. How long has it been since I've been on here? Like two two and a half hours, three hours. Are you reading any books or watching any shows at the moment? I just finished, um, I just finished watching Gilmore Girls, and I'm kind of on a, it worked, yeah, thank you guys so much for donating. <laughs> um, I just watched, finished watching Gilmore Girls, so now I'm in kind of a depression because of that, to be honest with you, you know what I mean? Oh what my god, you guys do not have to donate at all, but thank you so much, I appreciate it. Oh my god, is somebody donating in Australian money? Are we, are we about to become the richest people on earth? You can make a Dollar Tree Hall channel in your Discord so we could all share what we get at Dollar Store. You know what we need? We all need a place where we can just post our hauls somewhere. You know what I mean? Like, we just, like, I, I can't tell you, you know, I, go, I do a lot of hauls and stuff, like, just even outside of YouTube. And every time I'm like, I just want to show them but sometimes I don't want to make a whole video on it. You know what I mean? Impromptu Amazon shopping. You guys are feeling an addiction. Where Somebody donated and said, where's the donate button? <laughs> Thank you. 
free to family. Yes, creators can now. Thank you so much. I appreciate you guys. Angela, Janelle, Carmen, thank you guys. Um, yes, creators can now stream on Amazon Live and link products as we stream. Interessante. Maya, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> I'm still here. Yeah, I've been live for a while. I didn't. I thought I was going to do this for like maybe 10 minutes, but... Oh, you didn't answer, Kylie, what's the story with your name? I don't think there is one. I think my parents just picked it. But my sister is picked after... <laughs> my sister is named after uh, Campbell Brown, who was like a... Somebody else. I don't even know. Someone. Jarvis, you got problems, brother. Buying my way out of doing the dishes. You know what's funny about that? He's still going to have to do the dishes. And you know what's funny about that, too, is our money is combined now. So basically, that's like me donating 20 bucks to myself. <laughs> uh, Laura, thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's really funny. Um, <laughs> Betsy, thank you. <laughs> you can only have this if you watch the Gilmore Girls revival. Dude, everybody's saying it's not that good. Everybody said it was kind of depressing. Jarvis is paying you to not to do the dishes. Yeah. Hey, look at some people may look at me and think, how lucky is she? She gets paid to do the dishes. <laughs> the problem is, is, is it both of our money? Um, Jarvis has a superstar wife. Rocco, you couldn't be more right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you could not be more right. That's so funny. Are you guys getting sushi for dinner? I've never had sushi before. I've never had it. I never had it before I went vegan. And um, Dia, thank you so much. <laughs> Delivery fee on me. <laughs> uh, I pretend like I never saw it. Oh my god. That's so funny. That's It must have been pretty bad then. It's so cute. You and your sister's name is Kylie and Campbell. So close to Kylie and Kendall. Yeah, it kind of is. I think Kris Jenner copied my mom. She, co she found out about me because I think I'm older than Kylie Jenner, right? Lorelai is so negative in the revival. Oh, don't even tell me that. See, I just want to have good memories of that show. And right now I do. Like, I felt like it was wrapped up really well. I don't know about you guys, but not a lot of shows are wrapped up well. But I did hear that they might be refilming Game of Thrones season. Is that true or false? True or false? I don't know. Anybody know? Anytime you want to shop, but you're low on cash, live chat. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Love from Canada. Two Canadian dollars. Thank you. That's the most French last name I've ever seen. That is so funny. Imagine if I had donations on this whole time. I know. I was working for free. What the hell is going on? Jiggly bits. Thank you so much. That's so cute. This is crazy. <laughs> Somebody. Colby typed just $5 to make it look like he donated. <laughs> That's pretty funny. You know what, Colby? It's the thought that counts, honestly. And, um... <laughs> they're doing a prequel thing. Oh. They're making spinoffs. Oh. Darn it. Not at all. Here's what you make it. Let me know if you have any questions. I've been doing Amazon Live since last year. Wow. Okay. I'll check it out. For sure. False, just a spinoff. Oh my god. Um, yeah, I totally agree. I don't, I'm, I just kind of like when shows, I rarely is a spinoff or like a return video, like, you know, where they like follow it up years later. It rarely works out the way that you hope that it would. Like I watched the Hills revival and well, it was kind of good, but then it was like not good. It really wasn't. Thank you so much, Callie. This live literally made my day. I love you so much. I love you too. <laughs> you need to stay on more to make up for two hours. Oh my god. For reals. I really liked the revival. It sounds like this is... Yeah, it's mixed. Next time you live stream, you better get that juggling set out your father got you for Christmas. <laughs> oh god. Watch Kelly stream just about every day from now on. Yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna probably move it over to to Twitch after this. Well, I don't know. I wonder if I could do both at one time. But um, 
I think that Twitch is weird because you have to like get partnered or something, and I don't know like what that entails. Like I don't. Maybe somebody else knows, but who knows? I don't know. Kylie, do you like reading smut? <laughs> what is that? I don't know if that. Blood and Ash. I see that all over book TikTok. Um, what's for dinner tonight? Um, I don't know. Well, Jarvis just spent our last twenty dollars, so we're in we're in trouble here. <laughs> oh, we're in big trouble. Where's Boo? I think he's under the bed, or he's out in the other room. Um, bust out the magic kit. <laughs> oh my god, I liked Gilmore Girls revival. It was pretty good. Put this towards your Grubhub order. Thank you so much, Courtney and Mariah. Thank you. <laughs> Why Twitch? I get notified on here. Um. I think that Twitch is just easier to navigate for, like, the common person. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, a lot of people re-upload their Twitch streams on YouTube. Yeah, I think people are saying not Twitch. I feel like Twitch is just easy to see who's live. Like, you know you're going to watch somebody who's live on there. And I think on, you on YouTube, it's like, um, I don't know. It's, like, hard to see who's live, I guess, in my opinion. But maybe I'm wrong. I like Twitch, but I prefer when people stream here, like Valkyrie. Yeah, she made, she's huge on here. That chick makes like $100,000 a month, I heard. You need PayPal. YouTube takes 20 or 40%. Oh, boy. If I die, I'd die if Twilight made another movie to make up for that awful CGI baby. <laughs> I'm with you on that one. Dude, Twilight is still probably one of the best movies I've ever watched in my entire life. I'm not joking. Can we see the wedding dress? Um, I'll show it in, the, in my video, next video I do. Twitch is extremely toxic. Twitch is free too, by the way, yeah. Twitch is way better, much better for live streams. I think so, yeah. I think so. Twitch is extremely toxic. I feel like people don't get, get as much viewers on here, but maybe I'm wrong. You know what I mean? Currently live on Twitch, I'm doing a study with me. Ooh, I'm such a boomer, I don't understand Twitch. Yeah, I was trying to explain it to my mom the other day, and she didn't get it either. But I think it, I just feel like it's easier. Watch out, Streaming World, Kylie's coming for your paychecks. <laughs> oh, I'm the next big thing, sweetie. Wait till you see how bad I am at video games. I'm like such a fake gamer. Like, I get, I get bored so easily and stuff. It's so funny. Um, if you need help with Twitch stuff or need overlays. Oh, really? I honestly might, because I, I don't know how to do any of that stuff. I don't know how to do any of that stuff. Twitch mobile app always lags. Oh, it does? Yeah, actually, that's kind of true. I'm just glad you're streaming, period. I used to stream on Twitch. Thank you. <laughs> I used to stream on Twitch, and the chat used to get so many shitty people. It's hard for girls, but I don't know much about YouTube streaming. Ooh. Yeah. That's, um, that's, that's, t that's dicey. For sure. I don't know. Because, yeah, because it's not really like the pe like the people here. Like, you guys all know my life. And you know me. Especially on this channel. Like, especially on this channel. Because this is not my main channel. You know, obviously. So, especially on this channel. You guys know my life. And you're not likely to say anything toxic. Unless I make a balloon arch. And then all the toxic people come out of the woodwork. <laughs> um... You know, you know, you know, you know. Jarvis spent your $20 only for YouTube to take 20% of it. Yeah. So that was pretty much a bad investment for him. But I think for him, the joke was worth it. <laughs> for him, I think the joke was unfortunately worth it. Yeah, that's true. A lot of male streamers send their viewers to hate comment on girls streamers. Hold on a minute. Is that true? Is that true? Uh-huh. Okay. As long as you have good mods to delete gross comments, you're good. You can have sub-only chat. Oh, my God. I'm going to have to hire mods. Do I have to pay mods? Or are they just... They're, they're just... Um, they're just servants of the um, internet space. Um, did you post somewhere you were doing this live stream today? No, I just went live, like, out of nowhere. <laughs> This is my first stream ever. Huns think 12-year-old boys are on Twitch. Yeah. Tell Jarvis to come in the room and say hi. I don't know what he's doing in the other room. Yep, a girl went viral on TikTok. It was awful. 
since you have people following you, you already have a community going on Twitch. Do an Amazon Live for hauls, Twitch gaming. Dude, there's so many ways to go live these days. It's actually banana. It's bananas. Oh, vo mods volunteer. Oh, okay. So you guys are a bunch of mods. Okay, cool. Pay Jarvis to mod? Absolutely not. I will never pay Jarvis to mod for me. <laughs> he will mod for free. Stay here, we're nice. I know many top female streamers who quit Twitch because of the community. Really? Really? Dude, people are so crazy these days. Like, sending people to somebody's Twitch chat is, like, really weird. That's, like, definitely 12-year-old behavior. Kylie, don't let people let people scare you out of Twitch. <laughs> um, would you ever dye some of your hair pink? Here's this... I told you this story a long time ago in a video. My why I quit Victoria's Secret video or something. I have like 4,000 why I quit my job videos, so it's one of those, but I dyed a piece of my hair for breast cancer, like breast cancer awareness month, which I think at this point everybody's aware of breast cancer, but it was breast cancer awareness month. And a bunch of us did it in college. This is when I was still in Iowa and I was working at the Victoria's Secret in, in Iowa, but in college, but I, we all dyed our hair like a, like back here. I dyed like a strip of it pink for that. And I did it with my friend whose mom actually passed from breast cancer. So we just did it, whatever. And I went to go like work my first day there. And they told me that I had to dye my hair back. Does anyone remember this story or not really? But, yeah, they told me I had to dye my hair back because it was against, like, company policy. But it's like, okay, wait a minute. This is a, a store for women about surrounding breast cancer. Like, I mean, you know, the other word. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, which is sad. But this is a store where you buy stuff like that for your breasts. And you don't let people support breast cancer. I don't know. I was like, okay, whatever. Um... Jarvis, I heard there's a pair of Walmart shoes in the room. <laughs> okay, you guys will never let me lift down those Walmart shoes. Do not mess with my Georges. Um, what's a f my favorite video I've ever done? Um, I think it's a tie between... I did a, a Chicago guide once, which is, like, pinned on my main channel. And to me, that was really fun because I was really proud of, like, how... I thought I, like, filmed it really well. <laughs> And then um, I think that my sister's makeover video is one of my more favorite ones that I did. But I like to do, like, one of my favorites to film are definitely, like, um, like vlogs and stuff. What city in Iowa? I was at, like, the mall that's really close to the... Victoria's Secret's problematic? Yeah, probably. But aren't we all? Mods are... Yeah. Mods are moderators. Um... It was the mall that was right by, what's it called? Iowa City, University of Iowa. So whatever that mall is, I can't remember anymore. It was called something. <laughs> so <laughs> it was called something. That was a pretty funny video. Like the videos where we're like, where I'm like dying laughing. Like there's a couple of them on my both of my channels where it's like the Walmart shoes video, the Smuckers video. There's a video where I talk about a turkey sandwich, which is pretty funny. Um, the charades video. Like, there's some videos where I'm crying, laughing. Those are, like, some of my favorites. What are your favorite favorite OG YouTube videos made by other YouTubers? Um, yeah, I was at Coral Ridge Mall. Yeah, yeah. Coralville, yeah, yeah. Um, um, Wait, what was that question? I just lost it. Some favorite OG videos made by other YouTubers? That's a good question. I have no idea. I, that's a good question, though. I have no idea. I, I can't, like, my brain's, like, not working right now. Um, I can't get over how good the quality of my stream is. Thank you. You know why? I think I'm, it's because I, like, I'm using my camera that I use to film my actual videos. And it's like a 4K camera. I have the Sony A6400. And it's like pretty good. 
So, not the rotten turkey sandwich. Yep, that was it. That was it. Do you have a witch witch by me? I don't know. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. You getting hit on checking out in the Walmart. The guy wanting to take you to the nail tech. I will never forget that. That happened in my... Yeah. <laughs> that was so freaking funny, man. I wish I got that on camera. That was so freaking funny. My stream is very premium. Thank you. I don't know how long my camera's going to go, though. It's been overheating on me. That's the curse of a Sony. Forever amazed by my genius of putting mustard on grilled cheese. Honestly, thank you. Because honestly, I feel like I do take the credit for that one as being like, you know, I do feel like I am the father of mustard on grilled cheese. Like, I honestly feel like I, I came up with that. And in a way that I did. I pioneered it. I popularized it. There'll be, uh, there'll be monuments in my name one day. The thing girls I laughed most at was when you were playing Uno and Jarvis hid the nine card up his sleeve. Dude, people were so mad when I used to do the Uno. It was like two, it was not this Vlogmas, but the last Vlogmas. And we kept playing Uno. Like, I had, I had no content. So I'm just like, all right, let's play Uno. <laughs> let's play uno and that's all we did like every day of vlogmas and like people liked it thank you so much by the way for donating deborah um but we just kept playing uno and then i saw like comments of just like people like i think it was my, maybe have been somewhere else like i don't know where it was but there people were like oh my god does she seriously think that it's okay to post videos of just of you playing uno every day it's like uh, there's nothing to do. <laughs> am I imagining things? Are you really live? Hi, I am really live. It's really me in the flesh. The vlogmas when you had the wig was my fave. Oh my god, the wig. I still have that wig. I need to get that wig out. Dying laughing over the Uno. Yeah, that was pretty funny. I love watching you guys play Uno. Who's your number one viewer? I would say it was the first person that donated. That's probably my number one viewer, and they always will be. Um, I went out and bought the... Oh, that comment didn't finish. Um, just joined to say, please become an attorney. I'm in law school right now, and you kicked all my classmates' asses, including mine. Go to law school, pass the bars, work at the FTC, and take down MLMs. Oh, my God. I'm going to need a second life. I did think about you guys. There was a time period in my life where, thank you for saying that, by the way, and I know that I wouldn't kick anybody's ass in law school, but um, I, there was a time in my life where I honestly, like, I bought an LSAT book, and I was ready. I'm like, you know what? I'm ready to do it, because I'll tell you what, if you watch, I know a lot of you guys watch, a lot of you guys. I know a lot of you guys watched that video where I was like in my first apartment. It was a nightmare and I actually had to get a lawyer to get myself out of that place. And you never, I hope that nobody's ever in this situation, but in a situation where you need a lawyer, but there's nothing worse than feeling like you can't defend yourself, like feeling completely helpless and lawyers, like to be a lawyer, I don't know. It's just, I feel like I would feel so much more secure, like that I would be able to defend myself I don't know oh it isn't that easy yeah oh I know being a lawyer is really hard my law LSAT book is still on the coffee table it is yeah I opened it up did a couple problems and then I'm like I can do this see you later just kidding um bye Emily thanks for coming I appreciate it um <laughs> um taking down MLMs isn't that easy I mean but you would be yeah Oh, yeah, it, taking down MLMs would be really hard, but, you know, we're, we're chipping away. The anti-MLM community is chipping away. <laughs> what volume of developer do you use on your hair? I use, um, my hair looks kind of crunchy today because I didn't blow dry it last night. But I use 20 volume developer, you know. That was so sad. I felt bad for you. Yeah, it was really bad. Did I change my bedroom? No, but it's, I have my camera like mirrored or like flipped and, um, it was, it was like, so it looks a little bit weird. 
me see your rang. Here it is. Um, I thought about going to law school, and then my dad said I was too stupid. I cried and never pursued it. I was like 17 then. Oh. If you're not, you know, I think it's never too late to go. You know what I mean? I don't think it's ever too late. Especially if you, like, don't have kids. Like, your life is kind of wide open to to do that, you know? Brad Mondo would be proud, yeah. I totally, totally agree. He would be so proud of me. <laughs> One day I'm just, he's probably gonna, like, click on my video and be like, oh my god, what is this girl doing toning her hair with blonde? I mean, with, with purple shampoo. I told her not to do that. You know what I mean? How's my eyesight? It's, oh, it's pretty good. Thank you. Um, I use 22 and my hair is still yellow. I think you just need to, like, let it sit for a long time. Plus, I use a blue powder. I use blue powder developer from Schwarzkopf. Um, 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 look at Kim Kardashian. She did it. That's true. Yeah, Kim Kardashian did. She actually is doing it. I think she is pretty smart, actually. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't really know any of those people, so I don't know why I'm saying that. Can you only spare a second from studying? But I just want to say one of my favorite moments of your videos was Smucks from Vlogmas a couple years back. Yeah, Schmuckers was like the funniest thing that ever happened. Kylie, are you a natural blonde? How do you keep that Khaleesi hair? Um, I'm not a natural blonde. I would say that my hair is like that ugly, like, dishwater blonde brown. It's like, it's not cute. It's not cute. Your dad needs to have a team chat with Beachbody Coach. He'd, he'd never say a thing like that again. <laughs> Yeah, he does. He saved the live. I want to watch the end tomorrow morning. Good night. Love you. Love you. Good night. I will. Yeah, I'm going to try to save it. I'll, I'll try to. I'll do my best to, like, not mess it up once, once I get off. I'm not sure when I'll get off. Probably soon. Um, Finishing my PhD, I've learned that work ethic is number one. Intelligence is number two. Honestly, that's the truth in life, I think, also. Like, that's how I felt about soccer was, like, it was more about work ethic than... And, like, playing with heart than sometimes, like, ability. I don't know. Um, I use purple shampoo for my blonde highlights. Yeah, that's good. I use the Not Your Mother's shampoo. Purple shampoo. It's pretty good. I still use that. Um, Kim, K Kim K isn't going to law school, though, and her way of studying is only allowed in Cali. Yeah, that's true. Dishwater blonde, brown club. Dishwater Brown Club. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> um, my boyfriend knows you as schmuckers. And it's the funniest thing in the world to me. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. Thanks, Jillian. Appreciate it. What's your favorite Dollar Tree? I'm assuming you're saying Dollar Tree item. I, I have so many Dollar Tree items that I love. But my favorite... Dollar Tree item that I I feel like I'm trying to think of like what I use the most and I think what I use the most is um I don't know that's a good question oh I love like their chargers they have like gold chargers they're gorgeous I love those and then their glass plates are just they look so luxe oh it's the best it's the best. I love it. I just love all their party stuff. I love everything in there. Would you ever post on IG more? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't. I don't feel like I fit in on IG. I feel like it's just all beautiful people. And I'm not saying that I'm not super hot, gorgeous, cute. But I just feel like it's a lot of like... I don't know. I don't fit in. I don't fit in. I'm not cool. What's well, a Smucker's reference? Um, I think it was like four or five years ago. I can't even remember, but I was just like delirious laughing about how Smucker's was the funniest word in the English dictionary. Um, which I don't even think Smucker's is in the English dictionary, so I don't know why I said that. I'm the same age as your mom, yet I'm completely hooked on your videos. Com currently watching Vlogmas again, which irritates the men in this house. You know what's funny is my mom is the same way. She watches all, like, she's a YouTube fanatic. Fanatic. Is your Twitch Kiki channel or whimsical? Um, this is my, I'm going to paste it again. This is my Twitch channel. 
This is my Twitch channel. IG is fake content. Honestly, kind of. Like, I just, like, it's just, it's just weird. I mean, it's just, it's too, it's too short to, like, actually know anybody. Not like I need to get to know everybody, but I don't know. It's just, it's just strange to me. I just, I don't, I don't, I never loved IG, honestly. IG is all swipe ups. It's not even worth, yeah, honestly, yeah. Like, I go on, I go on IG, and it, all it is is just, like, Okay, swipe up for my, you know, I'm wearing this outfit, I'm wearing this outfit, I'm wearing this outfit, I'm wearing this outfit, I'm wearing this. It's like, okay, enough of this. Can we just, like, can you just, like, talk about your life or something? I don't know. Um, are you ever moving away from Chicago? Probably. Probably. Um, I'll probably move... I don't know. <laughs> How did you pick your screen name? If you're talking about Kiki Chanel, um, the way I picked that was I, um, wait, what did I do? I can't even remember. What am I talking about? Kiki Chanel? Oh, um, a lot of people called me Kiki, like, it, when I was playing soccer, that was my nickname, and then I liked, like, I liked, like, how regal Coco Chanel sounds, so I put Kiki chanel like i thought it was i thought it was really good at the time and now it's just so stupid i can't even i mean it's not stupid it, it is what it is but i also i also needed to do like i couldn't do my real name because i didn't want anyone to know that i was making videos you know what i mean like i was i had to keep it on the low and then some girl came up to me i was working at sephora and um i people in when i used to play soccer on my soccer team used to call me kiki but Kiki is too authentic for IG false reality lives. Honestly, I'm so real. It's so, it hurts. It's so I'm so real. It hurts. <laughs> um. Wait a minute. What was I talking about? I don't remember. How's your little phone phone holder holding up? It's really good. It's really really good. I love it. You should get one. I'll talk about it in a in another um. Uh, what's it called? I'll talk about it in, like, an Amazon favorites video, because, of course, that's where I got it. Um, I try to post on IG, like, how it used to be, and people don't like it. See, like, IG did kind of be, it used to be, like, a shit post app, like, and I, I loved that. People just would, like, like, honestly, this is what I did when I first got up Instagram, okay? I had no idea what to do, and I loved, I'd never heard of a filter before in my life. So I remember I was a freshman in high school and I was sitting on the bus going to a soccer game and all the girls said that I needed to download it. So I was so clueless back then too. Like I was just clueless, like socially. So I downloaded it and I go and I realized that you could like click through the filters on Instagram, right? And there was like one of them that, that made it like super contrasted and like really vibrant and saturated. It was like called like lo-fi or something or something. I don't know what it was. But I, I went to it and I go, oh my God, this is making my photos look amazing. Like I had never heard of saturation before. And I didn't know you could like up the saturation. So I literally went to like all the photos I'd ever taken on my phone. And I just put them in. I changed them, like put the lo-fi filter on it. And I, I posted all of them. I posted a giraffe photo that I took. I posted flower photos. Like, I posted, like, like outside, like, bushes and stuff. And I, I, like, was dead serious. Like, I'm, like, I'm not posting photos of myself. Like, I'm going to post photos of these these freaking giraffes. And that's what I'm going to do. Are you going to start a membership on YouTube I would support? I don't know. I, I'll definitely do one on uh, Twitch. But... Um, does Jarvis get a cut of the YouTube income for the comedic value? Absolutely the frick not. He would love that, though, because he does help me a lot, though, like, with the behind the scenes, for sure. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you ever run into subscribers in public? You guys, here's what's, here's what's I need to say right now. I don't understand how some people say that they're running into subscribers, like, or like fans a lot. I live in a big freaking city. I have run into people two times that knew me. Two times. No one knows who I am. Like I no one knows who I am. It's it's 
I don't know. So, like, sometimes I'll see people, like, there was this girl that I used to follow on Instagram who was, like, in my, like, hometown, and she got, like, 10K followers from something. I don't know what it was, like, weightlifting or something. And she goes, oh, my God, I keep running into you guys at the gym. Like, at, anytime you see me, come up and say, hey. And it's, like, there's no way you're running into people constantly. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. What's your Twitch? Here, I'll post it again. I'm posting it all the time. Just follow there, and then if I go live, check it out. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, your money is combined now, so he's getting it. Yeah, that's kind of true. <laughs> um, my ex's apartment is near us in Chicago. I used to joke with him that I hoped I ran into you. Dude, somebody, there's a big, um, actually, the story's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> we might be nearing the end of the stream here because now I'm starting to tell stories that are just not cool. You could pin the link with your Twitter. Oh. You guys, I'm so freaking clueless. How do I pin this? Oh, can I? Oh, I can pin. Okay, there we go. Thank you. You guys are so smart. Thank you, Aussie, again. I appreciate you. <sighs> Um, I want to run into you, and I have not yet. You guys, every time that somebody runs into me, I always look a hot mess. And it's like, I I just look disgusting. And I need to, like, start to look cute again. Like, I need to try. I don't try. I never try. Um, will we get to meet Jarvis's family? That's up to, that's up to them. You know, Jarvis's sister did tell me she wants to be a, uh, <laughs> she wants to be a, a big movie star. So we'll, we're going to have to make that happen. Stop. Oh my God. Stop. You're still alive. I know. I got to get off soon. <laughs> people are probably too nervous to talk to you. Even PewDiePie says he notices people just taking pictures of him. I don't know that that's happening because I don't think people really think that I'm that cool, but, um, I could definitely see it happening for PewDiePie. <laughs> um, future honeymoon. I want to go to New York. That's a, plot, a lot of pressure to always look good whenever you go out. I see people doing that a lot, though. You know what I mean? Like, I see a lot of YouTubers who are like, they, they, um, what's it called? Like, they never look not put together. They never do anything without makeup. I'm like, I wish I had the energy, but I just can't do it. How is your bladder so polite four hours later and this is my third trip? It's because I'm dehydrated. <laughs> if your sister wants to do more videos, will you feature her? That's Jarvis's sister. <laughs> I'll ask her. I'm not sure. Um, uh... MLM Huns probably see you and take pictures for their message boards. I th I do know that they, like, talk about me and their, um, what's it called? They're, like, whatever it's called. Lives. They're, like, Zoom calls. Um, will you be gaming on Twitch? Yeah, I hope so. So go follow my Twitch if you guys want to. If you want, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. You should watch My Hero Academia. My sister loves that show. My sister's a huge anime girl. She loves it, loves it, loves it. Dude, honestly, Amber, she said, NYC energy is so intense. You feel more productive there, even if you're not getting anything done. Honestly, 125%. That is 125% true. Every time I've ever been there, I'm just like, I, I feel like I can, like, I have, I feel like motivation and I've, ne and like, I don't know. <laughs> Where was I going with that one? I don't know. Having to quarantine today for the next 10 days and this live is giving me life. Dang, that stinks, but I'll try to go live again. Maybe I'll even try to go live again tomorrow. Oh, wait, I can't. I can't. We have a funeral tomorrow. Uh, well, maybe I can in the, in the morning. Getting ready stream. <laughs> That's so inappropriate. Um, 
I messaged you on IG when I was still brainwashed. Oh my god, I was so embarrassed reading it back. Look, don't worry about it. Like, if you were in an MLM before, don't worry about it. Like, everybody's, like, I get so many messages, like, you know, I'm so embarrassed that I did that. I can't believe I ever did that. It's, don't worry about it. At least you tried to do something, you know? You can't fault yourself for, like, trying when you didn't know. Um, um, have you seen Jessica Hickson's video? She's an ex-It Works hun who makes anti-MLM content. She mentioned you in a video recently and said she used to dislike you because of your content but likes you now. <laughs> um, no, I haven't seen that, but I'm glad that she likes me now. A lot of people start to like me after they after they leave yeah but it's interesting to see like who it's interesting to see why people leave like i'm not it's not totally clear obviously it's a lot of different answers of why people leave their mlms or whatever it is but um i wonder what like the i wonder i always wonder like what it was it that i said because like if it was me that caused you to, to leave what was it that i said you know what i mean you look pretty today thank you are you gonna leave this live up yeah i am are you still thinking about looking for a normal job, like a non-YouTube social media job? I think about that a lot, honestly. I think about it a lot. Like, I'll hear, I'll tell you, um, Mark, you saw the light. Good for you, buddy. But I'll tell you what I think about this, um, about, like, getting a normal job. So a lot of the time, I, I, like, a normal job sounds appealing to me because it's just something to, like, fall back on. And sometimes I get, like, anxiety that, you know, if I lost this or if I didn't have this anymore, I would have nothing. And, like, that gives me, like, an anxiety. You know what I mean? So I also like, I like the idea of working at, like, a bakery or working at, and I'm not, that's not me being, like, I don't know, like a brat or, you know, hopefully that's not the way people take it. Like, oh, you know, this would be such an easy job. I just think that it would be relaxing because the thing about YouTube is that YouTube's, goals like yeah you could you could set maybe like a a subscriber goal or something like that i don't know but the goals are not as clear they're much more abstract thank you mommy as is a chef <laughs> i appreciate it um your goals are much more abstract which i think makes life harder when my life was actually much more i don't know it was much maybe more straightforward because i knew like when I was working retail I knew that I had to go and do this every day or I had like a, a much better routine and stuff like that I don't know um I don't know I'm kind of going on a tangent I had like when I think about this stuff in my head it's much more clear but it's uh um I do think about just like you know it'd be nice to work at a I keep saying bakery but you know, just to, like, frost cupcakes every day. Like, that's my job. Or, like, you know, even professional athletes, I feel like that job is, it might not be physically easy, but it's easy in terms of your your goal is clear. You score a goal, you win the game. Or you, you hit a home run, you win the game. You know, you, you outscore the other team, you win. Like, I don't think it's as clear with YouTube or, you know, other jobs like that. I don't know. So, uh... I, I don't know, like, I, and when I watched The Hills, too, I, I was, like, really into thinking about, like, oh, it'd be nice to work for a magazine or, you know, behind the scenes, and I think sometimes it can be stressful just to be, like, the face, the forward-facing person, you know, but, um, you know, like I said, like, another reason, too, it's, like, it's nice to be married is, like, if I have, like, a, you know, I, my Jarvis could, like, pick up the slack for me, not saying I'm just gonna slack off, but, you know, in sickness and in health, for richer or poorer. <laughs> a normal job, never. Free spirits don't conform to normal. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's true. As soon as you get off, I'm going to catch up on stories. Yeah. <laughs> I thought she was moving to Mexico. <laughs> it's gonna, it's going to snow in Chicago tomorrow? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm self-employed and selling Etsy and living. There's always this cloud of anxiety. I think the problem is, is like with YouTube, there's so much unstructured time. Like if you work, if you're like self-employed, there's a lot of unstructured time. And that gives you a lot of time to like where your thoughts run wild on you, you know? And then you just don't know what, you know? I don't know. And then you just get caught up in like a loop, like a negative loop of I'm not doing enough or I'm not, you know, whatever. 
that's why I like streaming. It's like, you know, I get on and that 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 is me being productive, I guess. It'd be hard to leave YouTube. Um, yeah, I think it would be hard too. Like, I genuinely love it though. Like, I started back when it, people really weren't doing it like for money that much. I did. I started in 2016, so maybe they kind of were, but I just like to make videos. Like, I love to make videos and stuff. But um, what did Jarvis say? I don't know what he said. <laughs> Jarvis got you. Yeah. Um, I'm not saying that I would, like, slack off, but you know what I mean. Um, I'm in normal, and it's a struggle. Working remote has helped, but I am returning to campus this fall if this C-word gets better. Yeah. A lot of drama on YouTube. Yeah. I think you can control some of that, though. Unless you get big. Then it's like, you know, people. a lot of people, it's like, no matter how big you get, there's always going to be something like that. But you just got to, like, push through. Um, sell a Mercari, that's what I do. Repurposing your goods. Yeah, I have a Poshmark, but it seems like a lot of people sell on, like, Mercari and Depop more. Um, yeah, a lot of it, yeah, like, if you're self-employed, it does feel like, it's hard not to take things personally, like, your failures and things, you know? It's tough. But, I mean, I'm not going to talk about it too much, because I know a lot of people aren't, like, that's not what they do for a living, and they don't want to hear me talk about, like my own problems that much you know what I mean <laughs> um yeah that's true that's true so anyway all right you guys I think that it's winding down here it's been fun but I think I'm gonna um maybe I'll try to oh like I said I don't know if I can get on tomorrow <laughs> I got a funeral tomorrow um which is not funny but um maybe I'll try to get on for a little bit tomorrow too and we'll see i might try the twitch thing tomorrow and we'll see what's going on but um if not i'll definitely try on thursday for sure because like it's well tomorrow's like the wake and then the uh wednesday is the what's it called what's it called i don't know um so anyway i'm gonna i'll try to get on again like i want to make this more of a regular thing what am I going to eat? Um, I don't know what I'm going to eat. I think we'll probably order stuff again. Like, we've been we've been ordering it so bad, but we just keep ordering stuff. Um, um, small YouTubers being drowned into dust like me. It's hard, man. I don't know how people start. I don't know how people start. Like, I don't know how you start nowadays. You know what I mean? You can join Monet. Oh, fuck. Oh, hell. Hell no. Um, sorry for your loss. Thank you. I appreciate it. But yeah, so I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Did you ever used to go tanning? No, I never did. Even though I did work at a tanning salon. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for coming. I'm Literally, I will never forget you guys. <laughs> I will never forget you guys because this is my first stream ever so hopefully many more to come i really appreciate you guys this was a really fun experience i went way longer than i thought i would oh she's got stamina but yeah i'm gonna try to do some gaming stuff i'm gonna do a animal crossing stream like maybe next i don't know i don't know hopefully that'll be here on twitch i'm not sure but all right thank you guys and i appreciate anybody who donated you did not have to do that i really really appreciate it and uh, make sure you follow my twitch my Twitch, follow the Twitch, follow the Twitch, follow the Twitch, follow the Twitch. And, uh, yeah, appreciate you guys. Bye. Peace, 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 peace. Follow the Twitch.